What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 3KY, Chapter 51 Warn, Seeking Collection of Flowers Evaluation. After the incident at Central 46 subsided, Yu Typhoon got what he wanted and once again entered the Spiritual Arts Academy as a teacher. Only this time, his purpose was quite clear. After 500 years of killing in, Hueco Mundo, he is indeed a little tired and needs a good rest. After all, no matter who it is, killing in one place alone for 500 years will definitely feel exhausted physically and mentally. Since he was able to reject Yamamoto before, not only does it prove that he doesn't care about those vain fame and wealth at all. More importantly, he didn't want to be someone subordinate to do things for him. Dot dot dot. The news that Central 46 members were all killed began to spread quickly in Seraiti. Yu Taifung, who entered the Spiritual Arts Academy again, also started his own teaching career. The day after this incident, the Kuchiki family, headed by Kuchiki Silver Ridge, also held a special meeting in the secret room of their manor. Kuchiki Yinling, who is the present-day patriarch, is sitting on the top seat at the moment. With a majestic look on his face, he said to the family members below with a serious expression, about the 46 room, I must have heard about it. The purpose of bringing you here today is actually two. The first one is about how to revitalize the Kuchiki family so that we can secure our position as the head of the five nobles. The benefits that you can get after becoming the number one nobleman must be very clear to all of you, so I won't repeat them too much. After the meeting, you can post your thoughts in the form of an anonymous letter to the family's important matter voting box. We will analyze and compare various resolutions in the later stage. As for the second, the members of the Kuchiki family, after hearing the words of Yinling, all began to discuss in whispers. After a while, everyone gradually calmed down and turned their eyes back to Kuchiki Yinling again. Yinling looked at the family members sitting below, cleared his throat slightly, and the expression on his face became more serious than before. After scanning the crowd, he said in a warning tone, the second thing is related to the case in room 46 yesterday. I hope you all must firmly remember what I said. Quote. At this time, the members of the family below began to whisper again. It seems that the tragedy in room 46 yesterday was right. Where are the 46 rooms now? Our five major families and the other families of Seraiti are still fighting for seats. Could it be that the things that Master Yinling said have something to do with that murderous god? That killer. I heard that he is now leisurely and has entered the Spiritual Arts Academy as a teacher. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Our Kuchiki family sacrificed several elders who were appointed as sages and secretaries because of yesterday's events, huh? Quote dot 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 quote. Kuchiki Yinling looked at the family members who were talking about it, coughed slightly, and said loudly, everyone. Although, we have lost several elders in the family. However, they also contributed to the prosperity of the family in disguise. Now that that matter is over, I hope that everyone will stop having any irrational fantasies. After all, we can't do anything to him, nor can we afford the price of revenge. Now, I want to tell everyone here. From today, when we meet that person in the Kuchiki family, we must treat him with courtesy. No matter what unreasonable demands he makes of us, as long as it doesn't touch the bottom line of our Kuchiki family. Then we must do everything possible to satisfy him as much as possible. As for the portrait of that person, we will ask the top painter in Seraiti to draw it and place it in the police hall of our family. At the same time, I hope you can convey this matter to your descendants and subordinates. Finally, I warn you again, if, who would dare to be disrespectful to that person? Then, he will be expelled from the family and sent to Rukongai severe punishment. Can you all hear clearly? Quote, after hearing Kuchiki Yinling's words, the people below looked at each other for a while, and said in unison, please follow the patriarch's order. Kuchiki Yinling looked at the family members below and nodded in satisfaction, with a smile on his face. At this moment, no one had noticed the strange expression on his face that was quickly skipped. It was a rejoicing expression full of rejoicing. Dot dot dot. At the same time, all families with some names in Seraiti also held similar family meetings. Dot dot dot. Because of Yu Taifung's previous work, the entire Seoul society was shocked by the shocking bloody case. Therefore, when he became a teacher of the Spiritual Arts Academy, he completely became a star that no one dared to mess with. Yu Taifung, who is happy, will not refuse this rare leisure time. When he is on a whim, he will also carry out his own work. However, when he feels something, he will stay alone in his residence and conduct his own research. Occasionally in his spare time, Yu Taifung would go to sit in the Phoenix Palace of Wangyu in Ermewu. Not long after the, 46 room incident, occurred. In the 11th division, Unohana Yakiryu has served as the captain for hundreds of years. After going to the Spiritual Arts Academy, he announced that he would give up the name, Kenpachi, he created. The original Kenpachi, has since become a legend. Soon after, Unohana Yakiryu not only changed its name to Unohana Retsu. Also from the 11th Squadron, which was in charge of fighting, was transferred to the 4th Squadron, which was in charge of medical rescue missions, as the captain. Although this news was not as popular as the, 46 room incident, it was spread in Seraiti. However, it also attracted the attention of many people. It is reported that the reason why Ujihua gave up her, Kenpachi, name is precisely because he once again lost to Yu Taifung in a competition. 
At this time, many people thought that Wujihua, who was born in Rukongai 500 years ago, was a fierce, evil man, in Seoul society. Although her current strength is not as good as Yamamoto and others, she is definitely a strong one. At the same time as Mao Zihua, Yu Taifeng, who entered the Spiritual Arts Academy for Advanced Studies, was the genius boy who emerged from the end of the era. Had it not been for an accident 500 years ago, he would definitely have become a captain of the Gotei 13th Division. On this day, Yu Taifeng, who has been teaching for more than a year, saw a somewhat familiar face among the new students who came to report. Chapter 52 Special Class, for Evaluation of Collection of Flowers. On this day, Yu Taifeng, who had nothing to do, gave a keto class to the students. Just as he was about to return to his residence, he saw that the new students were taking the Reiatsu level test. With the teacher in charge of this test, they began to roll the names one by one. The trainees below also began to walk to the test stone in an orderly manner to carry out the placement test. At this time, a teenager with yellowish hair caught Yu Taifeng's attention. Urahara Kazuki, Orange, Third Class Reiatsu. When many students heard this result, they all exclaimed in admiration. Yu Taifeng looked at Urahara Kazuki in the distance, with a slight smile on his face, and began to look for it among the people not far away. After a few seconds, his gaze finally stayed on a female student. She has short purple hair and her skin is light brown. A little bit different from other students is that she didn't wear a student uniform like ordinary people, but a white tights that was tailored properly. Shihuin Yoruichi, the girl with short purple hair also walked out of the queue after hearing her name and came to the test area. When she put her hand on the test stone and released her reyatsu. The original white test stone also turned orange. Shihuin Yoruichi, orange, third class reyatsu. As the test teacher announced the test results, the team also exclaimed again at this time. Oh my god, third class reyatsu again, that's amazing. You deserve to be the princess of Shihuin's family, I'm so envious. This year's special class, it feels that there are more people than in previous years. I heard that there is a guy from Rukongai who has also been assigned to a special class. You mean, that guy who doesn't even have a last name? Yes, yes, it's him. Quote dot 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 quote. Quiet, quiet. After seeing the messy students below, the teacher on the stage frowned slightly and shouted. Yu Taifeng looked at the students not far away, smiled and turned and left here. The next day, in the classroom of the new special class of Spiritual Arts Academy. Various students are talking and discussing with each other. At this moment, a handsome young man with long black hair walked into the classroom alone. Urahara Kazuki was joking with Shihuin Yoruichi. Read more at mtlarchive.com. However, he didn't understand. Yoruichi, who had just been talking and laughing with him, had a shocked expression at this time. Yoruichi, are you okay? Yurahara Kazuki asked in a concerned tone. Yoruichi didn't answer the other party's question immediately, her eyes were filled with fear on her little face full of shock. Yoruichi, Yoruichi, what the hell is going on? Yurahara Kazuki looked at Yoruichi who was in a state of gaff beside him, with an inexplicable expression on his face. At this time, in the messy classroom, with the appearance of young men, it gradually became quiet. Yu Taifeng glanced calmly at the students below the stage, raised his face slightly, and said softly, from today on, I will be responsible for all the courses related to cutting the fist and leaving the ghost. My name is Yu Taifeng. You can call me directly or my teacher. Hum. Then let's start now. First of all, you should call it, right. Quote. After hearing Yu Taifeng's self-introduction, the students in the audience began to discuss in whispers. Does he teach us all the lessons of slashing the fist and leaving the ghost alone? How does it feel like talking big? Maybe he knows some of these fighting skills. Why do you feel that the teacher's name has a very familiar feeling? Is it because I remembered it wrong? Quote dot 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 quote. At this moment, when Yoruichi heard the self-introduction of the teacher on the stage, the color of fear in his eyes became more intense. Yurahara Kazuki, who was sitting beside him with a bewildered face, couldn't figure out why Yoruichi was so nervous. He asked again with concern, Yoruichi, what happened? How do I feel? At this time, Yoruichi, who had been silent since Yu Taifeng entered the classroom, finally responded in a low voice, Kazuki, don't you know who he is? Yurahara Kazuki felt helpless. He looked at the abnormal Yoruichi beside him and asked curiously, who is he? Isn't he our teacher? Why do you look like a ghost? Um, how do you feel that the teacher's name is so familiar? I always feel like I've heard it, let me think about. When the two talked in a low voice, Yu Taifeng smiled and said, then, let the students introduce themselves first. Well, let me see. Let's start with the boy with short blue hair on the side. At this time, the blue-haired teenager sitting in the corner looked up at Yu Taifeng with an indifferent expression. In the end, he still whispered, my name is Shanghei, from Rukongai. Yu Taifeng looked at the blue-haired boy who got up, smiled and nodded and said, well, please continue with the next classmate. At this time, the students in the classroom also stood up one by one and introduced themselves. When it was Yoruichi's turn, she hurriedly stood up and said with a little trembling, old, hello teacher. My name is, Shihuan Yoruichi, from, from Shihuan's house in Saraiti. Please take care of you in the future. Quote. After Yoruichi introduced himself, he hurriedly bowed deeply to Yu Taifeng on the stage, then let out a long sigh of relief and sat down gently. 
At this moment, Yurahara Kazuki beside Yorichi seemed to think of something terrible. With an expression that looked like a ghost, he looked at the figure on the stage in horror. Ha! Huh, the little guy next to Yorichi, it's your turn. Yu Taifung looked at Yurahara Kazuki in the distance and said softly. Hi teacher, my name is Yurahara Kazuki. I would like to ask you for your kind attention in the future. After Yurahara Kazuki finished introducing himself, he hurriedly sat down and sighed deeply. He turned to look at Yorichi next to him, and whispered, You guy. Why didn't you tell me earlier? It's over, he turned out to be our teacher. I feel that our lives will be in danger at any time. At this time, Yorichi, who was still in shock, finally turned to look at Kazuki beside him. She smiled helplessly, and whispered, Kazuki, don't say it's you, I can't believe it now. Okay, stop talking, if we make him unhappy because we talk secretly, it's over. After a while, the students in the audience took turns to introduce themselves. After Yu Taifung looked at the strong teenager sitting in the last row, the smile on his face became thicker. He cleared his throat and said, then please ask the classmate in the last row to finish the self-introduction. Asterisk. Chapter 53 Encounter, Seeking Collection of Flowers Evaluation. When Yu Taifung's voice just fell, all the students in the classroom turned their heads to look at the young man sitting in the last row. A little bit different from others is that not only is this student's skin very dark, he is also much larger than the others in the classroom. He looks like a middle-aged strong man. My name is Tessai Sukabishi, I hope you can take care of me in the future. Yu Taifung looked at the students in the classroom and smiled and said, since I have finished introducing myself, then let me go to Sayama and choose my sealed state. At this time, when all the students heard these words, their eyes were filled with excitement. Sealed state, it is the name of Zanpakuto when it was not Shikai. One of the fifteen captains of the Zero Division, the Phoenix Palace Master, Sword God, Namaya Wang Yu called, the strongest Zanpakuto with unlimited development potential. More than 6,000 Gotei 13 players are using it. When becoming a student of the Spiritual Arts Academy, the hospital will temporarily loan the sealed state as their weapon, and will officially grant the nameless Zanpakuto when joining the team. Created by Wang Yunameya, one of the captains of the Zero Division, the Sword God. It is the embryonic form of Zanpakuto, and is poured into its own spirit and belief by its owner, thus becoming the only Zanpakuto. As the place used to store the sealed state in the Spiritual Arts Academy, Kazama, has also become a forbidden place. Only when students enroll, can they enter it under the leadership of the teacher and choose their own sealed state. Yu Taifung led his students, entered the narrow room according to the procedure, and selected their respective sealed states. Afterwards, he returned to the classroom and began to teach them. Dot dot dot. Time flies, time flies. In a blink of an eye, Yu Taifung has been teaching in the Spiritual Arts Academy for nearly 400 years. During this time, Yu Taifung has taught countless students. As time went by, everyone in Seraiti gradually forgot about the person who committed the heinous murder. Although Yu Taifung's teaching career is not a dedication, it is still pretty carefree. However, all students who have consulted him privately will gain a lot. Yurahara Kazuki, currently the captain of the 12th division of Gotei, was deeply impressed by Yu Taifung's teaching methods. When he first became a Yu Taifung student, he still had lingering fears because of what the other party had done. With the passage of time, he discovered that Yu Taifung not only did not have the horror he had imagined, but also looked at everything very lightly, as if everything in Seraiti and even Seoul society had nothing to do with him. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Yurahara Kazuki, who gradually accepted all this, admired him because of the magical keto that Yu Taifung used in a keto class. After a fierce psychological struggle, Yurahara Kazuki finally found Yu Taifung and asked him to teach him some special keto knowledge and skills. What Yurahara did not expect was that Yu Taifung did not reject him, but instead would do his best to guide him when he took the initiative to ask for advice. However, Yurahara Kazuki also paid a heavy price for this. Although, Yu Taifung gave him all his advice. But in order to train him to improve his keto level, every time he chooses to compete with him to teach. From the first time Yurahara Kazuki asked for advice, he has been serving as the director of the Technology Development Bureau. As long as he asks Yu Taifung for advice, he will be severely beaten by the other party. But what followed was that Yurahara Kazuki also learned from Yu Taifung a lot of knowledge that was impossible to learn in the Spiritual Arts Academy. As a good friend of Shihuan Yorichi, how could Yurahara Kazuki forget her? He still remembers how he was tortured by the other party when Yorichi first went to ask Yu Taifung, Shunpo, skills. Yurahara Kazuki can be sure that if Yorichi did not learn, Shunpo, from Yu Taifung, he would not have the current, flash goddess, name. However, whenever he recalled Yu Taifung's use of Shunpo, the speed at which he was completely indescribable, he instantly felt a sense of powerlessness. On this day, Yu Taifung finished his morning work as usual. When he was walking slowly and preparing to go back to his residence to rest, a magnetic voice came from behind. Teacher, are you going back to your residence? Yu Taifung turned to look at the man who greeted him, smiled and said, it turned out to be classmate Aizen. It's been a long time since I saw you. Aizen looked at the former teacher in front of him, with an imperceptible vigilance flashing in his eyes. After hiding his expression for an instant, Aizen also smiled and responded, Yes, teacher. Since being appointed as the deputy captain of the 5th division, he has assisted Captain Hiroko with various team affairs every day. It is indeed a bit uncomfortable. But today, I was also entrusted by the dean to teach a few calligraphy classes here. 
It was a coincidence that I did not expect to meet you here. Quote. Yu Taifeng looked at Aizen in front of him, sneered in his heart, but still smiled and responded, Ha ha. It's a coincidence indeed. Hearing you mentioned Hiroko just now, I thought of that guy again. When I first saw him, his sloppy look was. The two exchanged greetings for a while, then said goodbye to each other and turned and left. Aizen looked at Yu Taifeng's gradually disappearing back, and thought of Hiroko just mentioned, a flash of light flashed in his eyes. Dot dot dot. The first team building, in the office of Yamamoto's heavy country. The white-haired Chojiro Sasaki held a document in his hand and reported to Yamamoto who was sitting there with a serious expression. After a while, Chojiro, who had read the document, stood respectfully and waited for Yamamoto's order. Yamamoto Shigakuni slowly opened his eyes and said in a deep voice, Chojiro, what do you think about this matter? Chojiro took a short step forward, bowed slightly and said, Sir, the captain, there are some speculations about this matter. But, Yamamoto Shigakuni looked at Chojiro who was hesitant to speak, and said softly, but it doesn't hurt to say. Captain. I think this matter may be related to the Technology Development Bureau. Chojiro said. After Yamamoto heard what the other party said, he was silent for a long time, then slightly shook his head and said, the old man has guessed it. You would say that this matter is related to Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Although he was imprisoned in the maggot nest because of some crazy experiments. But when Urahara rescued him from there, he didn't do anything extraordinary. He must be very clear in his mind, what consequences need to be borne by using Rukun and Shinigami to do experiments. Therefore, there must be someone else behind this incident. Quote. Shojiro looked at Yamamoto, who was affirmative, nodded slightly, and asked with confusion, Captain, what should I do with this matter? Yamamoto Shigakuni stood up slowly, coughed slightly, and then said, Shojiro, tell the captains and deputy captains of each team to have a meeting in the conference room. Chapter 54 Aizen's Temptation, Seeking Evaluation of the Collection of Flowers A team, in the conference room. All the captains and deputy captains of the Gote 13th Division stood on both sides of Yamamoto's heavy country. After some discussion, Yamamoto gently tapped on the wooden floor under his feet with a cane, and said in a deep voice, in view of the recent disappearance of Ryakon and Shinigami. The 9th Division Captain, Muguruma Kensai, is now ordered to take people to the relevant locations for investigation. If found, report in time. Quote. At this time, a white-haired man standing in the team, after hearing Yamamoto's order, stepped forward and responded loudly, yes. At this time, the expressions on the faces of the people standing on both sides of Yamamoto were different. Hiroko Shinji who kept her golden sister's head, inadvertently turned his head slightly to look at Aizen behind him, with a vigilant look in his eyes. Boom. Yamamoto tapped the wooden floor hard with his walking stick, and said, the meeting is over. Dot dot dot. Muguruma Kensai led several of his men and began to investigate in a jungle outside Rukongai. Roar. Suddenly, an imaginary roar reached his ears. Hurry up, there is a situation over there. As soon as Muguruma Kensai's voice fell, he disappeared in place. I saw a huge body with a shape similar to that of a tortoise, and it was roaring. At this time, there was a 13 or 14-year-old boy who was about to become a Chinese food for turtle shoe. The dust will be wiped out. Broken ground wind. Muguruma Kensai roared and waved Zanpakuto in his hand. In a whistling sound, several invisible wind blade clips directly attacked Shu's body. Roar. In a scream, the tortoise also fell to the ground, and the young man who was almost eaten fell to the ground. Read more at mtlarchive.com. What's your name, little guy? Muguruma Kensai asked with a smile. Where did the teenager have seen this kind of scene? He sobbed in shock and whispered, Wu, I, my name is, Hisagi Shuahei. Hurry up, little guy, it's very dangerous here. The boy took a deep look at his savior, and finally fixed his gaze on the black tattoo on Muguruma Kensai's abdomen. Thank you, the young man wiped his face, and after thanking him, he quickly left. At this time, a cute girl with short green hair, holding a death tyrant in her hand, appeared in front of everyone. Six car idiot, quickly look at what this is, the girl said to everyone excitedly. Muguruma Kensai looked at the girl who appeared in front of him, and shouted, Kunin. Why do you only show up after every battle is over? Kuna Mashiro gave a cold snort, made a grimace at the crowd, and said loudly, I found an important clue. After deliberation, everyone decided to stay in the same place to look for clues. Dot dot dot. Late that night, all the captains of the Gote 13th Division received a news that surprised them. As the leader of the 9th Division of the Advance Force, Muguruma Kensai, and his deputy, Kuna Mashiro, their Reyatsu disappeared out of thin air not long ago. After Yamamoto held an emergency meeting, he immediately dispatched Hiroko Shinji, Odoribashi Rojiro, Love Eikawa, Yakimaru Lisa, and Hachigan, who was the deputy head of Kido, from the 13th Division of the Gote. A special handling team for the disappearance of souls case was formed and went to the location of the incident to investigate. However, when everyone arrived, they found Muguruma Kensai and Kuna Mashiro who were already hollow. After a great battle, everyone was accidentally calculated by Aizen and turned into a hollow state. Urahara Kazuki and Tesai Tsukabishi, who arrived temporarily, stopped Aizen who was about to kill everyone. Tesai Tsukabishi looked at Aizen, who turned and left, and yelled, Hato's 88. Shuanglong strikes the thief. Thunder cannon. I saw a dark blue beam of thunder and lightning, with a burst of power to destroy the world, attacking behind Aizen. 
When the lightning beam was about to hit Aizen, his horns had a smug smile, and he whispered, 81 of Bakudo. Splitting void. Rumble. With a loud sound of shocking power, Tessai Tsukabishi realized that the Kido he had just used was blocked by Aizen. With incredible eyes, he looked at the direction Aizen was leaving. Tessai Tsukabishi looked at Urahara Kazuki beside him, and said with a surprised look, how is this possible? A fellow at the rank of deputy captain, unexpectedly, actually blocked my Kido with the splitting void that sang abandonment chant. Quote. After the two looked at each other for a long time, they finally shook their heads helplessly. At this moment, the two of them, as classmates, have a lingering figure in their minds. Urahara, why did I think of someone suddenly? Tessai looked at Hiroko Shinji and others lying on the ground as if recalling something. Urahara Kazuki turned to look at the direction of the Spiritual Arts Academy, and responded with a look of disappointment. Tessai, in this entire Seraiti, the one who can use Kido to such a realm, I am afraid that only the one in the Spiritual Arts Academy. Dot dot dot. Aizen took Tusan Konami and Ichimaru Jin and left shortly after returning to the 5th Division. After putting his Zanpakuto into the scabbard, he looked at the backs who turned and left with a faint smile on his face. At this time, Tusan Konami, who had been standing in the dark, also walked out of the shadows. Kneeling on one knee, he respectfully asked, My lord, since the current plan has been completed, why bother to take risks to test that person? Aizen glanced back at the other person, his face full of playfulness, and then said, Tusan, although everything went smoothly as planned. But the one in the Spiritual Arts Academy is an unstable factor that I can't see clearly. After blood bathing the 46 rooms, he can still shake the existence of the old man Yamamoto. It feels a little scary to think about it. This time, I really want to see, what method will he use to resolve this crisis? Asterisk. Chapter 55 Defection. Assault. Seeking Subscription. Seraiti, Spiritual Arts Academy. The college was extremely quiet late at night, but Yu Taifung still had no rest. Because more than an hour ago, a few strands of Reiatsu in the direction of the sixth forest of West Rukongai made him get up and came to the yard when he was about to rest. However, it didn't take long for these familiar Reiatsu to disappear suddenly. Yu Taifung looked at the direction of Reiatsu's disappearance with some doubts, and couldn't help but fall into contemplation. He has been teaching in the Mao Spiritual Academy for more than 400 years, and now he has fallen into a bottleneck. Recently, he has been thinking about a question, how can he gain stronger strength? The encounter with Aizen two days ago gave him a new plan. Hogyoku. With self-awareness, you can absorb and manifest the heart that exists around you, and can protect the host's body from death to death. When the host's ability reaches its limit or its life is threatened, Hogyoku can make the host evolve endlessly to the next one-dimensional realm. The original Hogyoku was invented by Urahara Kazuki, but the Hogyoku he invented was, semi-finished product. After Aizen fell into Hiroko Shinji and Urahara and others, after years of planning and experimentation. Finally, the two unfinished Hogyoku were fused together in a unique way, and Hogyoku was used on his body. Yu Taifung recalled the plot in Shinigami's original work, his angle rose slightly, and he had a new plan in his heart. Thinking that his students could research this kind of thing, it was Yu Taifung as their teacher. I have to sigh for the amazing creativity of Urahara and Aizen. Yu Taifung stood quietly in the courtyard like this, feeling the collision between the few Reiatsu. He shook his head slightly, turned and returned to the living room of his residence. At this moment, dozens of weak Reiatsu from far to near, soon surrounded Yu Taifung's residence. Boom rumble. With a strong explosion, the wall of his small courtyard collapsed. After feeling this strong but somewhat indifferent Reiatsu, Yu Taifung also came to the yard again. After looking at the dozens of strange figures around him, his brow furrowed slightly, and his lazy eyes instantly became sharp. More than a dozen Shinigami, who wore death tyrant costumes with the team's identity badge on their shoulders, were holding Zanpakuto and looking at Yu Taifung with blank eyes. Fifth Division, haha, it really didn't disappoint me. Yu Taifung chuckled and muttered to himself softly. Kill. After seeing Yu Taifung appearing, a dozen Shinigami rushed towards him as if they had seen the enemy of life and death. Yu Taifung glanced at the surrounding attackers indifferently, gently raised his right hand, and made a slashing motion. Read more at mtlarchive.com. The sound of sharp blades cutting flesh and blood rang out one after another. A few seconds later, more than a dozen assailants from the 5th Division team spewed blood and fell in a pool of blood. Kyoka Suigetsu, looking at the people on the ground who had already lost their vitality, and thinking of the team they belonged to, Yu Taifung shook his head and sighed slightly. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. The 5th Division team house. Aizen sat quietly at the table practicing calligraphy, as if everything that happened before had nothing to do with him. After Tusan Konami felt Reiatsu disappearing in the direction of Spiritual Arts Academy, his brows were frowned but he stopped talking. Ichimaru Jin, who looked like a teenager, stood on the other side with a smile squinted, not knowing what was thinking in his mind. Aizen put down the brush in his hand, held his eyes lightly, and said in a magnetic voice, Tusan, your heart is upset. After Tusan Konami heard Aizen's words, he bowed nervously and responded, My lord, that one directly obliterated them. This. Aizen straightened his hair with his right hand, and said with a chuckle, if he doesn't do it, it would be really troublesome. It now appears that these 400 years have not allowed him to get rid of his previous violent temper. 
After saying this, Aizen turned to look at the two people behind him, finally fixed his gaze on Ichimaru Jin, smiled and asked, Jin, what do you think? Ichimaru Jin still squinted his eyes and slowly said, it's a chess piece for your lord, haha. The next morning, the first team meeting room. The many captains and deputy captains who came to the meeting after receiving the order were all dignified at the moment, standing on both sides of Yamamoto's heavy country. Shojiro Sasaki looked at the empty seats without anyone, and looked at Yamamoto in front of him with worry. Zero. For flowers. According to the order of room 46, the following ruling is now made. Yurahara Kazuki, the captain of the 12th division, used Rukongai residents and Shinigami to conduct a hollow test. Kido, the leader of Kido, Tesai Sukabishi, used forbidden techniques without permission. All were sentenced to deprivation of all spiritual power and exile for life. The 9th division captain Muguruma Kensai and other captains and deputy captains unfortunately triggered the hollow phenomenon. Executions will be executed in the present world in the same way that they are dealt with. The captain of the 2nd division, Shihuan Yorichi, trespassed into room 46 and took Urahara Kazuki and Tesai Sukabishi away. The whereabouts of the above people are still unknown. After the 46 room research decision, the above people are now deprived of all their positions and expelled from the Soul Society, Yamamoto Chongguo said slowly. Everyone in the conference room had different expressions on their faces after hearing the ruling reported by Yamamoto. At this moment, a black figure appeared in front of Yamamoto out of thin air, knelt on one knee and said, report to the captain. Last night, a vicious incident occurred in the Spiritual Arts Academy. Yu Taifeng, then a teacher of the Spiritual Arts Academy, attacked and killed 13 members of the 5th Division patrolling here. After hearing the news, everyone on the spot started talking in low voices. Yamamoto Shigakuni slowly opened his eyes, a strange look flashed across his face, and after a long time he whispered, this matter will be discussed later. Standing in the line, Aizen held his glasses gently, and an imperceptible smile crossed the corner. After a discussion, all members passed the ruling on Urahara Kazuki and others. Yamamoto used a cane to knock on the wooden floor under his feet, and said loudly, regarding the issue of filling the new captain and deputy captain, the Corps will submit a review document to room 46. As for the attack on the 5th Division team members, the old man will visit the 46th room to discuss with them. The meeting is over, at the same time, in the 46th room courtroom where relevant news was received. An old man with the code name, Yi, was placed in front of him. In the dim environment, he said, the defection incident has been judged. Now, I would like to invite you to discuss about the assault and killing of the team members. Enter. Chapter 56 will be calculated for subscription. 46 people could not see clearly, sitting around in a dim hall. When everyone heard, 1's proposal, they began to take turns to speak and discuss. The murderous case 500 years ago, you must have heard of it. What should we do this time? In this troubled autumn, he dared to attack and kill the team members without warning, it is absolutely lawless. The old man believes that there may be some unknown connection between the two things. What the 13th National Congress said is very reasonable. Those traitors who defected and hollow have one thing in common. I wonder if you have found out. 677, according to the information received, those traitors were indeed his students. Is that why he taught in the Spiritual Arts Academy for 400 years? After being silent for so long, has he finally started to restless again? After Yamamoto announced the adjournment of the meeting, he led Chojiro Sasaki to the 46 room quickly. Captain, go there in person for this kind of thing, will he make a fuss? Chojiro, who followed behind Yamamoto, asked with some doubts. After Yamamoto heard the other party's words, not only did the speed of his journey not slow down, but on the contrary, it speeded up a bit. As he changed his figure quickly, he said in a deep voice, Chojiro, although it is an indisputable fact that he killed more than a dozen players. But the old man always feels that there must be someone behind this. As for whether the instigator is him or not, it's hard to say. The old man is not worried about him most. Because 400 years ago, the old man could do nothing about him. As for now, how could he have been standing still? Chojiro's expression became more serious. He looked at the stalwart figure in front of him. After a long time, he said again, backquote backquote the captain is actually worried about him. Is it bloody to wash the 46 room again in anger? When the two arrived at their destination, Yamamoto Chongguo stabilized his figure and slowly said, as long as room 46 does not annoy him this time, then everything is easy to discuss. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Hope we are not late. After looking at each other, Yamamoto and Chojiro walked up the front steps one after another. Re, due to the murder of Spiritual Arts Academy last night, all teachers and students' classes today were cancelled. The small courtyard where Yu Taifung lived was not isolated as a crime scene. Whenever someone passed by here, they would stop for a few seconds, curiously looking at the distance, it was obviously the wall that was destroyed because of the battle. At this time, a group of people in black wearing standard clothing appeared out of thin air not far from the courtyard. After the leading man in black glanced at the surrounding environment, he cautiously walked into the courtyard with his subordinates. At this time, a black-haired young man dressed in plain linen was looking at them with interest. Your Excellency is Yu Taifung teacher. The leader asked timidly after thinking for a while. Looking at the unkind people in front of him, Yu Taifung calmly asked, you were sent by room 46. As your excellency said, it is indeed the adults in room 46 who have summoned you for questioning. 
I will trouble you to cooperate with our work. I am only waiting for orders, I hope you can understand, the leader explained his intentions with ambition. After hearing these words, Yu Taifeng smiled and said, please go back, I will pass by myself later. Don't bother everyone. After hearing this ambiguous explanation, the leading man in black felt embarrassed. But when he thinks about the information he has read, he dare not say anything. The leader shook his head helplessly, signaled his subordinates to leave with him, and then all disappeared in place. After Yu Taifeng sent the group of people in black, he went straight back to the room. He sat on the floor casually and began to think. Those familiar Reiatsu shares last night have disappeared in Seoul society after a few changes. I think I have traveled here for more than 900 years. According to the plot in Shinigami's original book, Aizen has now completed his preliminary plan. Urahara Kazuki should also take Hiroko Shinji and others to escape into this world. The events of, Disappearance of Seoul, and, Shinigami Hollow, seem to have ended. 1.6 Although in the current Serai T, no one can make himself feel jealous. However, since you want to be the strongest in this world, you must use Aizen's Hogyoku to break the shackles of your own boundaries. Now that Aizen has designed all of this, I simply plan it out so that Aizen can continue Hogyoku's research without distracting thoughts. After all, fattening and killing are more interesting. Before leaving Soul Society, it seems that I still have an account that I haven't figured out clearly. After a period of deliberation, Yu Taifeng picked up his Zanpakuto and turned it into an afterimage and disappeared. Chapter 57 Come again to room 46 seeking subscription. Yamamoto Shigakuni and Chojiro Sasaki, led by a guard, walked through a bright corridor to a thick gate. Captain Yamamoto, Captain Sasaki, I can only take you here. The adults in room 46 are already waiting for two inside. Please come in, the guard in charge of the reception said, bowing. Yamamoto nodded lightly, then pushed the door open and Chojiro walked in. As the two entered the 46 room, the old man code named, one, also stood up and said, Captain Yamamoto, I don't know why you came here. Yamamoto Shigakuni did not directly answer the other party, but turned around and looked around, then fixed his gaze on the place where, Yi, was. Everyone, the old man came here today to discuss the Spiritual Arts Academy. Yamamoto said slowly. Yamamoto's words in the heavy country, like a bomb, instantly exploded the chatterbox of the people in the 46 room. Spiritual Arts Academy, is it you Taifung? Oh seven, unexpectedly, Captain Yamamoto would come to us in person for the villain, hum. Has Captain Yamamoto already killed him? If that's the case, that would be great. Captain Yamamoto really cares about Seraiti and cares about my safety. It's a shame not to be able to judge that villain with you. Re, Yamamoto stood there blankly, listening to the surrounding speech in silence. On the contrary, it was Chojiro behind him. After hearing the words of the 46th chamber, he frowned and leaned beside Yamamoto and whispered, Captain, this. I just want to know how you ruled that matter. Yamamoto slowly opened his eyes and said loudly. At this time, the old man codenamed, Yi, chuckled a few times, and then responded. Captain Yamamoto, after discussion and ruling in our 46th room. Relevant personnel have been sent to the Spiritual Arts Academy and summoned Yu Taifung to come to room 46 for questioning. And before that, I had already decided unanimously to use the capital punishment on Yu Taifung, the murderer who has never changed. But it seems that Captain Yamamoto should have personally dealt with him, right? Yamamoto Chonguo gave a cold snort, shook his head and said, well, you still have your usual style of doing things. However, the old man came today to discourage you from provoke him. Who would have thought that the fact that the efficiency of work is true to you is a bit shocking to the old man? After hearing Yamamoto's words, the people sitting in a circle began to discuss with excitement. They never thought that Yamamoto would plead for a habitual offender. While everyone was discussing and questioning Yamamoto, the majestic Reiatsu quickly came to the promenade outside the 46th room from far to near. As the soaring Reiatsu slowly approached, bursts of fierce screams spread from the corridor to the 46th room. This Reiatsu, who dares to be so presumptuous? Guard, guard, stop that damn intruder, read more at mtlarchive.com. A bunch of wine sacks and rice bags, all are waste. In just two days, I was attacked twice by an intruder. Are the guards in Serai T that capable? Captain Yamamoto, hurry up, call a patrol team to support us. Many members of room 46, after feeling the danger of approaching, yelled to themselves, where is there a bit of, sage? Yamamoto snorted in disdain, motioned Chojiro beside him to follow him, and turned and walked outside. Yu Taifung glanced at the many guards who fell to the ground indifferently, shook his head gently, and then unhurriedly walked towards the door of room 46. At this moment, Yamamoto's heavy country figure appeared not far away from him. Stop it, you will make it difficult for the old man to do this. Yamamoto stepped forward slowly, sighed lightly and said. Yu Taifung glanced at Yamamoto and Chojiro, who was like an enemy behind him, ignored the other's warning, and continued to walk forward slowly. It's been 400 years, it seems you haven't changed at all, you are still so persistent. Two fires appeared out of nowhere at Yamamoto's feet, and instantly wrapped the crutch in his hand. Suddenly, Yamamoto was holding a Zanpakuto burning with flames in his hands. He opened his eyes wide and stared at Yu Taifung who was slowly walking across from him. Haven't seen in 400 years, the captain still looks as energetic as before, Yu Taifung said softly, releasing all Reiatsu in his body. Chojiro, 
Gather all the current captains and deputy captains and order them to support the 46th room as soon as possible. This time, the old man must not let him succeed again, Yamamoto Shijoku said without looking back. After receiving the order, Chojiro nodded heavily, and then shouted loudly, black and white net. 22 bridges, 66 crowns. Footprints, far thunder, sharp peaks, return to the ground, nightfall, sea of clouds. The blue sequence, full of two round, went straight to the sky. 77 of Bakudo, the sky is quite empty. When Chojiro finished singing, a dazzling blue light appeared in his hand. In an instant it turned into a blue link sea net, which quickly extended in all directions. At the same time as Chojiro sang, Yamamoto Shigakuni also released Reiatsu from his body, turning it into a flame-bearing afterimage, and swiftly struck in the direction of Yu Taifung. After seeing that Yamamoto has moved the truth, Yu Taifung is certainly not to be outdone. After he raised his Reiatsu to the extreme, he clasped his Zanpakuto in both hands, and 677 also turned into an afterimage and rushed towards the opponent. Boom rumble, with the first tentative match between the two, a gust of gust of wind swept across the corridor outside the 46 room. Please pay attention to the captains and deputy captains of each division. This is Chojiro Sasaki, the combat command just issued by Captain Yamamoto is now released. Because room 46 was attacked, please lead the captains and deputy captains of each team to quickly lead the seats to room 46 to support. Chojiro Sasaki took advantage of the gap between Yamamoto's heavy country and Yu Taifung's battle, and hurriedly launched Tian Ting Kong Luo and conveyed relevant orders. After a fierce fight, the promenade outside the 46 room has long been turned into ruins like broken walls. Yamamoto Chongguo stared at Yu Taifung steadily. After a long time, he said, I want to bloodbath the 46 rooms again. Then step on the old man's corpse first. Everything in Dientian, all is ashes, Ryujin Jaka. As soon as Yamamoto's voice fell, he had liberated Zanpakuto in his hands, and looked at Yu Taifung who was not far away with a serious smile. It seems that the captain still wants to protect the justice in his heart. So why am I embarrassed to hide and criticize again? He he, devour it, gourmet. Yu Taifung looked at Yamamoto who was steadfast not far away, the smile on his face gradually solidified, and he said in a cold tone. Chapter 58 Reactions of All Parties Seeking Subscription The 5th Division Team House As Hiroko Shinji Halo defected and defected, according to relevant regulations, Aizen, as the deputy captain, temporarily took over the affairs of the squad. At this moment, he was explaining something to one of his seat officials. Dacian, it has been hard for you these two days. Tomorrow assisting other teams in searching for the Technology Development Bureau, leave it to me. Aizen smiled and spoke to his opponent in a magnetic voice. After hearing Aizen's words, this seemingly five and three thin official official. Some flattered bowed and responded. Captain Aizen, this is what the subordinates should do. You are so polite. After Aizen heard the words of Guan Shi, a strange look flashed in his eyes, the smile on his face gradually disappeared, and he said softly, Dacian. Although you are very capable, I am very optimistic about you. However, our 5th Division has just experienced some turbulence. Therefore, you should settle down and work hard, instead of thinking about the ones that are not. Finally, I'm sorry about Captain Hiroko. However, I am only acting as the captain of the squad. You will continue to call me the deputy captain in the future. After hearing what Aizen said, the chairperson instantly became a little at a loss. He bowed again and said, Vice Captain, what you have taught is that your subordinates must remember what you said. Aizen glanced at the officer in front of him, sighed heavily, and said with regret, Dacian, I'm sorry. What I said just now seems a bit too heavy, I hope you don't take it to heart. I just thought of Captain Hiroko, who was missing and couldn't control myself for a while. Hope you can see. After hearing Aizen's words, the seat officer was moved. Just as he was about to say something, he suddenly heard Chojiro's voice from a distance. Attention, captains and captains of various teams. This is Chojiro Sasaki. After Aizen heard the call of, the sky is quite empty, Shang Zhao showed a subtle smile, and in a short time he returned to the approachable look just now. Daejeon, summon the other seats in the squad. We have to rush to room 46 as soon as possible to help the captain. Aizen pretended to be excited. Yes, percent 3D, read more at mtlarchive.com. At the same time, all teams started to mobilize after receiving Chojiro's call. In the 4th Division team house, after summoning his subordinates, Ujihua quickly hurried towards the 46th room. On the way to the destination, Ujihua's eyes revealed a look of worry. It's been 400 years. I don't know what height you have reached this time, Mao Zihua secretly said in her heart. The border Meiwu Wang Yu was joking with several girls in the lobby of the Phoenix Palace. A young girl with a neat hair braid and a sea covering her right eye was looking at Wang Yu angrily for some reason. My lord, you are too much, annoyed me, annoyed me. Little Mela, I'm just kidding. If you have something to say, don't be rough. Ha ha ha. Wang Yu was looking at the girl with pride at this time, and said with a smile. Boom. The girl took a fierce breath, then pointed directly at Wang Yu's direction, and opened her mouth to exhale a fiery fire. Seeing this situation, Wang Yu hurriedly used Shunpo to avoid the girl's attack. Hey hey hey, everyone will comment on me. Little Mela actually set fire to me again. It's too much. Wang Yu looked at the surrounding girls with a sad expression, and shrugged. 
While there was still laughter in the Phoenix Palace, Chojiro's call attracted Wang Yu's attention. When he listened to the content of the subpoena, his eyes were full of surprise, and then he disappeared instantly. Before the Lord left, why did he look a little nervous? Is it because of the 46th room? Our Zero Division is only responsible for guarding the Spirit King. Why is the Lord Lord him? The girls looked at the place where Wang Yu disappeared and discussed with each other. Yamamoto Changuo looked at the dilapidated environment around him, holding Ryujin Jaka in his hands tightly, and staring at Yu Taifung not far away. After a round of tentative confrontation, he found that if he did not use, Bankai, it would be difficult to be sure of victory. However, if it affects Soul Society in order to exert the strongest combat power. Then, he did not dare to imagine the terrifying consequences. What made Yamamoto a little surprised was that he only felt the Reiatsu and spiritual power in his body, as if he had been sucked away by some kind of magical power. Although there is no impact yet, if the situation is allowed to go on like this, it will definitely have an impact on itself. Yu Taifung looked at Yamamoto on the opposite side with a cold face, and snorted coldly, backquote backquote is the captain afraid that his power will be too strong and it will affect Soul Society. If this is the case, please let go. After all, the 46th room is really insignificant compared to the entire Soul Society. Quote. Yu Taifung. You actually insulted the captain. Bankai. Huang Huang Yan Ling Ligong. After Chojiro Sasaki heard these words, a Shunko stood in front of Yamamoto and directly, Bankai, his Zanpakuto. I saw a huge canopy made up of thunder and lightning, and quickly gathered on Yu Taifung's head with a roar. Because of the previous battle between Yamamoto Chongguo and Yu Taifung, the roof outside the 46 room corridor has already turned into an open air appearance. A few seconds later, an oval purple thundercloud appeared in the valley above Yu Taifung's head. In an instant, eleven purple thunder and lightning rushed straight down Yu Taifung's head like a punishment from heaven. Boom rumble. Yu Taifung stood quietly, staring at the two people not far away, and slammed the sword with one hand. In a flash, Yu Taifung's whole person was wrapped in a purple thunder and lightning. At the same time, a huge black sword shadow also slashed at the positions of Yamamoto and Chojiro. Chapter 59 Siege Subscribe for subscription Seeing that the huge black sword shadow was about to fall, Yamamoto Shigakuni instantly blocked Chojiro and raised Ryujin Jaka in his hands high. When this black sword hit Yamamoto's heavy country, a violent Reiatsu instantly descended on him. Kacha. After receiving this Reiatsu, Yamamoto's figure trembled slightly, and his feet plunged directly into the ground more than 10 centimeters. What? When Yamamoto heard Chojiro's scream, he hurriedly looked back. I saw that Chojiro not only vomited blood, but was also blown away by the violent Reiatsu. Boom. Chojiro's body was like a fired cannonball, with a long line of blood, directly smashing through the door of the 46th room. Chojiro. Yamamoto stared at the direction of the 46th room courtroom, a look of worry flashed in his eyes. After feeling the weak Reiatsu of the other party, he was relieved. When Yamamoto was about to turn around to meet the enemy, he only felt that a more violent attack was coming towards him not far away. Yu Taifung clasped Zanpakuto with both hands and drew the majestic Reiatsu, with an incredible speed, once again violently swung the sword in the direction of Yamamoto. Ryujin Jaka, Torch. Following Yamamoto's anger, a hollow fire pillar with a diameter of about 5 or 6 meters with him as the center protected him. Huh. Yu Taifung snorted, but didn't avoid it. He clenched Zanpakuto firmly with his eyes, and slashed at the pillar of fire in front of him. Two majestic Reiatsu intertwined and tangled together. Amidst the howling gusts of wind, a huge tornado with orange flames began to spin around these two people. Boom rumble. The fierce flame made bursts of explosion sound, all over the tornado. The soaring flame rose from the position where the two were fighting, and immediately swept the entire 46 room. Even the pure Takulan, not far from room 46, was affected at this moment. Screams sounded everywhere, as if some terrible natural disaster had been encountered. At this time, hundreds of Kido people wearing black combat uniforms quickly rushed towards room 46 after hearing Chojiro's call of, the sky is quite empty. Read more at mtlarchive.com. The battle between Yamamoto and Yu Taifung continued, and from time to time, flames soaring and black sword shadows fell from the sky. After a period of confrontation, both of them left more or less minor scratches on their bodies. The 13th Gotei Division and the Kido people who had been ordered to arrive at the scene one after another. Hiraku Shunsui, dressed in colorful haori, looked at the two men standing in the air with a serious expression. Jashiro, this is not a solution. If the old man doesn't bankai, I'm afraid I can't do anything to him. Hiraku Shunsui looked at Jashiro Yukataki beside him and said. Jashiro, with long white hair, also looked nervously at the two in midair, and said softly, the reason why the teacher does not use bankai is because his Zanpakuto's power is too strong. If Ryujin Jaka bankai is arbitrarily used, I am afraid that the entire soul society will be affected. After both Kiraku and Jashiro looked at each other, they both turned to look at the hundreds of Kido people who had come for inquiries. Kiraku nodded toward Jashiro with a firm gaze, and then said loudly, Kido everyone listens. Now is the critical moment for Soul Society's life and death. Now I order you to use the hitting device together and open a crossing door leading to, Hueko Mundo, at the fastest speed. After Yu Taifung and Yamamoto confronted each other in midair for a few seconds, they once again turned into two afterimages and collided together. And AHBG, at this time, after hundreds of Kido chants, a huge crack of a hundred meters long appeared in the sky. 
Yu Taifeng looked at the many reinforcements who had already arrived on the ground, and said with a cold snort, it seems that it is difficult to end well today, so let's come. At this moment, an undoubtedly suffocating Reiatsu spewed out of his body, instantly covering everyone on the ground. Yamamoto Chongguo looked at the mighty Yu Taifeng not far away. After a quick glance, the Kido people summoned the door to pass through, and shouted angrily, Ryujin Jaka. Can Huo Tai Sword, Bankai, open. Following Yamamoto's anger, he finally, unsolved, his Zanpakuto. Can Huo Tai Sword, North, Heaven and Earth Ashes, Yamamoto yelled again and slashed in the direction of Yu Taifeng. At this time, the crowd on the ground began to discuss. Why do you feel that the space around us is beginning to distort? The captain turned out to be Bankai Zanpakuto. Oh my god, is this the true power of the strongest flame type Zanpakuto? If this continues, I am afraid that all the water in the Soul Society will evaporate. What kind of terrifying temperature is this? After Yu Taifeng felt the piercing gate that appeared behind him, he had a faint guess. When he saw Yamamoto's powerful country, Bankai, he looked at the blazing slash that hit him with a serious expression. Boom! A violent explosion sounded in the sky, and accompanied by a cloud of thick black and red smoke that slowly dissipated, Yu Taifeng was hit by a powerful impact and slammed into the crossing gate behind him. Yamamoto saw that the blow worked, turning into an afterimage and rushing into the black barrier gate. After all, he knows very well in his heart how terrifying his own, Bankai, power is. In order to prevent Soul Society from being affected anymore, he decided to completely kill Yu Taifeng in, Hueco Mundo, without leaving any further troubles. When this scene happened, many people had begun to cheer. In their view, it would be a real death to get their respected captain to resort to, Bankai, to suppress it. I saw a burst of thunderous noises coming out of the gate through the boundary one after another. From time to time, there was still a crimson flame flying out of the crossing gate. Everyone looked nervous, looking at the crossing gate in the sky, for fear of missing something. Ten minutes later, accompanied by a shocking explosion, a figure flew upside down from the gate. Chapter 60 The victory or defeat has been divided. For subscription. Yu Taifeng was slashed by a blaze of Yamamoto's heavy country, and blasted into the crossing gate. When he just stabilized his figure, he only felt a hot and majestic Reiatsu, rushing from the direction of the entrance of the crossing gate. Swallow it, gourmet meal. Yu Taifeng looked at Yamamoto from far and near, and started to provoke Reiatsu with an anger. At this moment, a huge monster appeared not far behind him. Roar. Accompanied by a roar, the worm-shaped monster covered in black armor also rushed towards Yu Taifeng's location. Huh, why does it look a little different from other scavengers? Yu Taifeng turned around and looked at it. The worm monster that was approaching him quickly said in his heart. Feeling that Reiatsu, who was in Yamamoto's heavy country, was getting closer and closer, an expression of displeasure flashed across his face, and with a cold snort, he swung his sword and slashed at the sweeper behind him. Roar. The black shadow of the sword is like cutting vegetables, directly cutting the huge scavenger into two pieces. The deep scream also disappeared with the sword shadow, and stopped abruptly after an instant. Ding. The box around the host is detected. Is the host turned on? With the death of the scavenger, the system prompt also appeared in Yu Taifeng's mind. Turn on. While Yu Taifeng was brewing new attacks, he was busy with the command system to pick up the fallen loot. Ding. Congratulations to the host for acquiring Reiatsu 5982. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the King's Scavenger Armor Fragment X1. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the instant, Hueco Mundo, through the gate. After a series of beeping sounds, Yu Taifeng checked the trophies obtained this time at random, and then looked at the direction of the entrance to the gate with a serious expression again. Can Huo Taidao, Dong, Rising Sun Blade, the deep roar of Yamamoto's heavy country echoed in this passage leading to, Hueco Mundo. In an instant, Yamamoto came to Yu Taifeng's body. But this time, the Ludao Ruahuo in his hand did not emit a raging flame. But like an ordinary Zanpakuto, there is no clue to it. However, at this time, above the seemingly ordinary tip of the sword, a dazzling red light suddenly appeared. Feeling the danger, Yu Taifeng hurriedly wrapped himself in Reiatsu, and then violently retreated back. A tiny spatial crack appeared in the air just passed by the tip of the sword, and disappeared in an instant. Yu Taifeng did not stop absorbing the surrounding Reiatsu and Rizi because of his defensive actions. After he stabilized his figure, he once again held Zanpakuto in his hands with both hands. One person with one sword seems to have turned into two bottomless black holes, frantically devouring the surrounding Reiatsu and Linksi. When Yamamoto Heavy Country released another flame slash and rushed towards Yu Taifeng. Read more at mtlarchive.com. The latter turned into an afterimage without hesitation and rushed towards the other side of the passage. Stop. Yamamoto looked at the disappearing figure and increased his speed to the extreme. The whole person turned into a flame afterglow and quickly chased it. Yu Taifeng looked at the familiar white desert at his feet, shook his head slightly, clinging to the direction when he came. As the familiar figure appeared again, Yu Taifeng, who had been brewing for a long time, waved out Zanpakuto from his hand without hesitation. When he completed the action of swinging the sword, the sky in this area started to be covered with dark clouds, and a black thundercloud formed in a short while. Cut. Yu Taifeng's body leaned forward slightly, looking like a black scimitar, and there was a murderous air all over his body. Yamamoto Chongguo, who had just crossed the gate, looked up at the thundercloud above his head, and shouted with solemn anger, Kenhuo Tai Shou. 
South. Huo Huo Ten Trillion Death Burial Array. Kill. I saw him pierce Ryujin Jaka fiercely into the desert beneath his feet, instantly turning the ground in this area into a scorched color. At this moment, this area was like a cursed Jedi, and two completely different scenes of fear began to appear. The dim thunderclouds rolled in the sky, as if a terrible punishment would come down at any time. The black desert began to roll in the white mist, tumbling like boiling water. Thousands of scorched black skeletons broke through the black sand and drilled out of the ground, killing them one after another in the direction of Yu Taifung. Yamamoto looked at Yu Taifung in the distance and said loudly, When you die under my Zanpakuto, your ashes will be controlled by Ryujin Jaka. You will also be imprisoned in it forever, and become my tool to attack and kill villains with violence. Yu Taifung stood up straight again, holding Zanpakuto in his hands casually. He looked calmly at Yamamoto who was talking in front of him, chuckled and shook his head. Ka ka. The army of black skeletons, like a black tide, looks thin but moves quickly. When they finally swallowed Yu Taifung's figure, hundreds of black sword shadows descended from the sky accompanied by rumbling thunder. Zero. Look for flowers. Thousands of swords imaged like rain, bombarding the scorched desert. These thousands of skeletons, like dust washed away by heavy rain, quickly disappeared. Yamamoto Shigakuni looked at the scene indifferently, as if all this was within his plan. Just as a raging fire ignited in his hand, he was about to swing the sword again. I saw a black sword shadow that was thousands of meters long, as if it had been condensed into substance, and it slashed down towards where he was. Kanhuo Taidao, West, Kan Sun Prison Clothes. At this moment, Yamamoto is like a god of fire descending from the sky, covered with crimson violent flames. When his figure disappeared in place, Yu Taifung hurriedly used Zanpakuto to resist. Quote dot quote. Boom rumble. The black sword shadow directly hit the two groups of tangled humanoid flames. Yu Taifung let out a low muffled sound, and the whole body was burning with flames, and he was directly knocked back into the crossing gate when he came. In a violent explosion, a figure flew out from the black gate. Like a rag doll that had been raged by flames, a black afterimage was drawn across the sky. Everyone on the ground looked excited, looking at the extremely embarrassed figure. The clothes on Yu Taifung's body were burned into pieces of rags. His body had already been burned with skin and flesh spattered, and countless infiltrating wounds exuded bursts of black smoke. Yu Taifung struggled to stabilize his figure in midair. At this time, he was like a clay figure burned by flames. The whole person was in an indescribable embarrassment. With the appearance of Yu Taifung, everyone on the ground began to cheer. Long live the captain. We won. No matter how enchanting genius, it is destined to be unable to defeat the living fossil of soul society. Relying on the trust of the captain back then, I want to do whatever I want. I really don't know how high the sky is. It's so pathetic, pitiful, and annoying. Aizen in the crowd raised his head and glanced at Yu Taifung, then gently patted the shoulder of an officer next to him, smiled and said, don't worry. It's all over. Just as everyone was cheering for joy, an old figure slowly walked out of the piercing gate, and then fell from the sky like a broken puppet. Chapter 61 Where to Go 4. For subscription, when everyone on the ground saw Yu Taifung's embarrassed look, they all began to cheer. When Yamamoto's heavy country appeared, their emotions had reached the highest point. However, as Yamamoto fell from the sky, everyone's cheers ceased. How can this be, Captain Yamamoto? How could the captain lose to him? This is impossible. It's over. Soul society is over. Don't panic. There are so many captains and deputy captains. After Aizen in the skirt saw this scene, the smile that was still on his face gradually disappeared. There is a kind of fear in his heart that he has never had before. Looking at the seemingly embarrassed road in the sky, but in fact the figure of the victor, Aizen gradually felt a sense of powerlessness. When Yamamoto fell from the sky, Hiroaku Shunsui and others, headed by Chojiro Sasaki, had already turned into several afterimages and flew into the sky. The fourth division is the medical division of the Gotei 13 division. As the captain of the Mao, 680, at this time, he is also staring at Yamamoto, who is seriously injured in Chojiro's arms. Then she turned her gaze to Yu Taifung, her eyes full of worry. Captain Uyoka, come on, come and see how the captain's injury is. Chojiro shouted anxiously. Hiroaku Shunsui and Jashiro Yukataki looked at Yamamoto who was unconscious, and after a glance at each other, they turned their eyes to Yu Taifung. At this time, Ujihua had used Shunko to come to Yamamoto's side, and her hands were glowing with green light, and she began to use Kaido to heal Yamamoto's injuries. Ermewu Wang Yu, with curly hair, also stood quietly in the skirt at this time. He frowned slightly, then turned into an afterimage and disappeared in place. Yu Taifung watched what happened under his feet, but did not relax his vigilance because of Yamamoto's serious injury and coma. In his opinion, the many captains and deputy captains below are likely to attack him. In fact, Yu Taifung seems to be able to maintain a sober consciousness now, but in fact, he has already reached the point where his oil is exhausted. He vaguely remembered the horror Reiatsu emanating from the opponent when he fought against Yamamoto Shigakuni 400 years ago. But today, when the two of them went from crossing the boundary gate to the battle to, Hueko Mundo. Yu Taifung has been using probing loops, to observe the changes in Yamamoto Reiatsu values. When he saw Yamamoto's powerful country, Bankai, he was ready to fight to the death. However, I don't know why, the other party has always controlled his Reiatsu value to about one-third of his heyday. 
Even though Yamamoto Heavy Country released the water like this, Yu Taifeng, who used all his strength, was severely injured by him. At this time, the figure of Ermei Wu Wang Yu suddenly appeared not far in front of him. Little guy, I didn't expect you to have grown to this point. It is really surprising. Yu Taifeng looked at Wang Yu who hadn't seen him for many years, shook his head with a chuckle, and couldn't help but think of the past again. However, he didn't answer the opponent right away, but put the Zanpaku sword in the scabbard, and slowly began to absorb Reiatsu and Reiko around him. For so many years, you have never really opened your heart to us, right? Wang Yu looked at Yu Taifeng, who was wary in front of him, with a wry smile on his face. After hearing Wang Yu's words, Yu Taifeng calmly responded, In fact, if you didn't have Lord Sword God, you might not be where I am today. Since I lied to you about the sealed state, you have helped me a lot in the 900 years. But today, read more at mtlarchive.com. Wang Yu said disappointedly, I will not draw my sword against you. After all, we have been in friendship for nearly a thousand years. Besides, the main responsibility of our Zero Division is only responsible for the safety of the Spirit King. What is the 13th Division of the Guardian, what is the 46th Room, these mundane things have nothing to do with me. I'm just afraid that you will provoke Yamamoto and die in his hands. Quote. A warm current surged in Yu Taifeng's heart, but he didn't say anything more. The top priority now is to recover as soon as possible. So I can plan for the next step. Wang Yu looked at Yu Taifeng who was silent, watching the actions of everyone below from time to time. At this moment, he only felt a majestic Reiatsu, like a stream flowing into the sea, quickly converging towards him not far away. At this moment, bursts of light green light enveloped Yu Taifeng. Wang Yu looked at Yu Taifeng not far away in shock, with an unbelievable expression on his face. Yu Taifeng's injury is recovering quickly at a speed visible to the naked eye. The wounds healed on his body began to heal quickly. As his injuries were fully recovering, Yu Taifeng couldn't help feeling a bit of pain. In the past thousand years, he has used the convenience of omniscience and omnipotence, and his understanding of Kaido to develop countless healing methods. He based himself on the characteristics of Zanpakuto, Shikai, after devouring Reiatsu and spiritual power. The basic Kaido was transformed, and finally the swallowing seal healing method used now was developed. To put it simply, when you release Kaido, you stack several seals in it, and seal your Reiatsu and spiritual power in it. Then imitated the characteristics of swallowing, absorbed the surrounding Reiatsu and spiritual power into his body. When the various energies in one's body reach the highest threshold, then gradually untie the seal in Kaido, and repel out the destroyed souls that were originally left in the body. Although this method of healing can quickly restore oneself to its peak state. But the process is extremely painful. Yu Taifeng gritted his teeth tightly and recovered quickly without stopping. On the surface, Yamamoto Shigakuni looked like he was seriously injured and dying. But Yu Taifeng knew better than anyone, that it was just the appearance of a temporary coma. When Yamamoto's heavy country wakes up again, he can definitely recover in an instant. Feeling that the injuries in my body have recovered 70% to 80%. Yu Taifeng looked at this not far away, Wang Yu who seemed to be monitoring, but actually protecting himself, showed an apologetic smile. Master Sword God, thank you. Let's meet bye bye. When Wang Yu was still marveling in his heart, Yu Taifeng's Kaido method was like a heavenly man. But I only heard the profound words that the other party said. He looked at Yu Taifeng, who had already disappeared, and shook his head helplessly. Boom rumble. At this moment, I saw hundreds of black sword shadows appearing in the direction of the 46th room court hall. The 46 sages, who claimed to be the supreme will of soul society also died in masses of blood mist following this earth-shattering attack. Yamamoto Shigakuni, who was lying in Chojiro's arms, also slowly opened his eyes at this time. He sighed deeply when he felt Reiatsu, a member of room 46, disappeared out of thin air. If it weren't for his worries, the power behind his, Bankai, would be too amazing. In case of breaking through the gate and, Hueko Mundo, what irreversible consequences will be caused? He will not suppress two-thirds of his strength for no reason, whoever thought it would become like this. Standing in the air, Yu Taifeng turned his head to look at Yamamoto who had just awakened, and sang quickly with a light smile. When many team captains and deputy captains on the ground pulled out their Zanpakuto, they were about to rush to block Yu Taifeng. I saw that he had already escaped into a black piercing gate in 1.6. With the disappearance of this crossing gate, everyone's faces were only surprised and disappointed at the moment. After Yu Taifeng entered the crossing gate, he quickly flew through a dim passage. When he decided to leave Soul Society and go to this world, he already had a new plan. Urahara Kazuki and others have escaped to this world, but Aizen's research on Hogyoku is still in its infancy. A hundred years will soon pass. After Aizen has studied everything well, it will be when he will return to Soul Society. After a while, a black afterimage appeared at the other end of the gate. However, at this time, the sight that appeared in front of Yu Taifeng made him stand still in shock. Thank you very much for the 1000 bip reward from Shang Shanruo Shui. 148 4x657 Big Brothers Monthly Pass. 498xxx331 The Big Guy's Reminder to Change the Ticket. Since the younger brother has not saved the manuscript and is a newcomer, the update is slower, please forgive me, everyone. Explosive Code Word. Chapter 62 Respective Fate 5. Seeking Subscription. 
Everyone on the ground, after looking at the figure that disappeared in the gate of the crossing, began to talk. At this time, Wang Yu also appeared next to Yamamoto Chongguo, and said indifferently, Yamamoto, is this the result you want? After Wang Yu said it, it turned into an afterimage and disappeared. At this time, Yamamoto, who had recovered from his injuries, shook his head and sighed after recalling what Wang Yu had just said. At this moment, a blue-haired young man in the crowd was staring at the direction where Yu Taifeng disappeared. Shanghei, let's go, Kuchiki Yinling, who had become an old man, looked at Kuchiki Shanghei who was still in a daze, and said lightly. Yes, Master Yinling, after Shanghei responded softly, he walked away quickly behind Yinling, looking back at the sky from time to time during the period. The news that Yu Taifeng once again killed the 46 room began to spread quickly in the jingling court. At this moment, in a mansion in Serai Ti, several Shinigami dressed in death tyrant costumes are gathering together to discuss something. Shameless villain, how dare you kill my mentor? My father was also unfortunately killed this time. I must avenge this grudge. Can you be more sober? Yu Taifeng has defected, and it is impossible for us to find him. What if I find him? The old guy Yamamoto is not his opponent. Just as everyone talked violently, a fat man who seemed to be kind cleared his throat. Then he coldly snorted. Everyone, I invite you to come this time, but I didn't listen to your jail time. I have a plan now, I wonder if you are interested. After hearing these words, everyone gathered in the direction of the fat man, and then began to talk quietly. A few days later, a rebel army composed of Shinigami appeared in Seoul society. Although, their age, strength and background are all different. But oh seven, this rebel force has one thing in common. That is, they are more or less related to the 46 rooms that were killed not long ago. After this happened, Yamamoto, who had recovered from the wound, ordered the suppression of this rebel force. On this day, Kuchiki Yinling and Kuchiki Shanghei were standing on a hill, looking down at the people fighting under the mountain. Master Yinling, leave it to me. After Kuchiki Sang bowed slightly, he jumped down from the mountain and landed steadily on the ground. The members of the 6th Division who had just fought against the rebels fell in a pool of blood because they were outnumbered. After Kuchiki gazed indifferently at the surrounding rebels, he pulled out his Zanpakuto, and said softly, whisper. Muramasa. A strange purple light burst out from his Zanpakuto, and immediately hit everyone Zanpakuto. The rebels who were still cursing, unexpectedly discovered that the Zanpakuto in their hands had begun to refuse to do so. What? Accompanied by screams, the group of rebels who just tried to besiege Shanghai. Because of cannibalism and suicide, he fell to the ground without any vitality. Standing on the mountain, Kuchiki Silver Ridge, silently watched this scene that happened under the mountain, as if thinking of something, he couldn't help frowning deeply. That night, Shanghai, who had just returned home from the Shinigami team, came to the office of Kuchiki Silver Ridge with excitement. As the son-in-law of Kuchiki's family, although Shanghai has super talent and strong strength, he has not been recognized by his father-in-law Yinling. This also makes him a little puzzled, why on earth? When he was appointed today by Yamamoto as the captain of the special operations team, he hurried back home to report the good news to his father-in-law. Master Yinling, I have been appointed as the captain of the special operations team by the captain. Shanghai said excitedly. Kuchiki Yinling turned around slowly, looking solemnly at Shanghai sitting cross-legged. After a long silence, he said in a deep voice, Shanghai. Even though your power is strange and powerful. But I still hope that you can truly understand the meaning of the captain. This may be a test for you. Shanghai didn't take his father-in-law's words to heart. At this moment, he faintly felt that he was one step closer to the strength of the idol in his heart. Of course, this is also the biggest secret in his own heart. Even his wife, who is as close as him, never knew it. With Shanghai taking office as the captain of the special operations team, an evil conspiracy is rapidly brewing with him as the target. On this day, Shanghai, who went out and carried out the task of clearing and suppressing all the enemies, celebrated with the excited men. At this moment, an abnormal change suddenly occurred. Accompanied by a scream, Shanghai's men fell to the ground one after another, and a dozen Shinigami who also wore death tyrants also surrounded him. Kuchiki Kung, how dare you kill your comrade? Get it for me, the leader Shinigami shouted angrily. When Shanghai saw this scene, a sharp look flashed in his eyes, and he said indifferently, Bankai. No hooks, Kunjun. Read more at mtlarchive.com. When this team of Shinigami was about to launch an attack, they only saw Shanghai's side, a strange man in a white robe appeared out of thin air. Shanghai glanced at the crowd with disdain, and whispered to the white-clothed man beside him, I will leave it to you. Murata. The white-clothed man raised his face slightly, looked at the enemies in front of him, and shook his head slightly. At this moment, a strange purple light appeared out of thin air, instantly enveloping the enemy on the opposite side. When the purple light disappeared, dozens of black shadows appeared quietly beside the people like ghosts. Accompanied by a scream, the Shinigami who surrounded the Shanghai just now were all killed by the black shadows beside them. Kuchiki Shanghai looked at the people who fell on the ground, his face was full of disdain. Just as he was about to turn around and leave, dozens of figures suddenly appeared around him, surrounding him again. An obese officer slowly walked over and shouted angrily, Kuchiki Shanghai. Do you dare to kill your companions and other team members? Grab him for me, this seat official seemed to be the leader who gathered everyone to discuss before. At this time, Yamamoto Shigakuni and Kuchiki Silver Ridge also appeared in the dress. 
Shang He looked at the battle in front of him, and just wanted to explain something, but was directly interrupted by Kuchiki Yinling. Shang He. Just catch it. There is no point in resisting. Kuchiki Yinling said. Kuchiki Yinling never thought that his father-in-law would say such a thing. However, when he saw Yamamoto Heavy Country beside Yinling, he also understood that his resistance must be useless. At this moment, he couldn't help but think of the figure of his idol. That night, after being detained in Shanghai in the temporary prison, after watching Kuchiki Silver Ridge walking slowly, he wanted to explain the situation at that time. Yinling looked at the embarrassing Shanghai in front of him, as if something had happened in the past, and said in a deep voice, Shanghai, I know what you want to explain. However, you still haven't understood the meaning of the above. The reason why Captain Yamamoto will transfer you to become the captain of the special operations team is because he is worried that your power will get out of control. Therefore, he will arrange you by his side. Shanghe had an unbelievable expression on his face. He couldn't think of why his current situation was so similar to the idol in his heart. Yinling looked at Shanghe, whose complexion was uncertain, and sighed deeply, and then said, Actually, I have always known that this person is not only your mentor, but also your only idol. But have you ever thought about it, because the people above have a lot of criticism about your Zanpakuto's abilities, which led to your current appearance. They are not really worried about you, but Muramasa who is afraid of losing control. Your power is so powerful, so powerful that it is more than once, let me see his shadow in you. However, you are still different from him after all. He can use Zanpakuto in his hands to cut off everything that hinders him. He can also use his own power to challenge all the rules he can't understand. You admire him, admire him, respect him, I can understand all of these. But, have you ever thought about it? You are a genius, and he is a monster. Listening to these words, Shang He's expression changed from excitement to disappointment. He couldn't figure out how, the secret in his heart had been seen clearly by his father-in-law. However, this made him even more excited. When he thinks of the way his teacher taught himself, and then thinks of the various injustices his teacher has experienced, the whole person has fallen into a state of hysteria. In his view, only by becoming a strong man like a teacher can he reshape the rules of this world. Thinking of this, Shang He actually started to laugh frantically, and said, A person like a teacher, I naturally don't have the qualifications to compare with him. But just because of my Zanpakuto, I was investigated and monitored. What is the difference between my situation and the teacher? This time, I am innocent. Those careerists who watch for power designed to frame me. Kuchiki Shanghe looked at Yinling, who turned and left, and an unknown fire ignited in his heart. If in the past, he was simply because of his teacher's words and deeds, and his legendary deeds comparable to myths, made him an idol in his heart. So now, when he experienced the feeling of being misunderstood firsthand. Only then did I understand the circumstances under which my mentor made a bloody path. Do you want me to die like this without resisting? This. No. Yes. Yes. Shanghe at this moment was roaring heartbreakingly. Accompanied by a strange purple light, the white-clothed Kunjung also quietly appeared beside Shanghe. Master. I'm here. Shanghe looked at Zanpakuto who had returned to him after being confiscated, and his horns showed a wicked smile. At this time, in a mansion in Serai T, dozens of officials in death-dominant costumes were cheering and cheering. It's a pity. Our plan of rebellion failed. You can't say that, isn't it an unexpected gain this time? Ha ha ha, I didn't expect the son-in-law of Kuchiki's house to be a student of the villain. What a surprise at 680. The key point is that the Zanpakuto of both of them are really weird. Looking at Shanghe, that guy is upset, this time it can be regarded as a disguised exasperated breath. Ha ha. However, such a powerful person actually teaches such a mindless student. It seems that he, a teacher, is not good at everything. When everyone was discussing with a smile, they only felt a murderous aura that came from a distance. A few seconds later, a purple light shot up into the sky from the mansion, mapping the mansion's radius of 100 meters into a weird purple. At the same time, Yamamoto Shigakuni and Kuchiki Yinling both felt this familiar breath. When news of Kuchiki's escape from prison came to the ears of the two of them, after discussing them, they followed the Reiatsu and found Shanghe himself. After a great war, Shanghe was finally sealed by Yamamoto Heavy Country with death burial blood wind, because of the huge difference in power. Yinling watched the scene that he couldn't bear to look straight in front of him, shook his head slightly and sighed, not knowing what he felt in his heart. Yamamoto looked at Yinling, which seemed to be a little older, and squinted his eyes and said in a deep voice, Yinling, if the old man remembers correctly, you Taifung should be your classmate at the same time. Yes, Captain. Yinling responded with a slight bow. Yamamoto gently raised his head, looked at the night sky above his head, and said in a deep voice, backquote backquote Yinling, have I been doing something wrong for so many years? Kuchiki Yinling was silent for a long time after hearing these words, and finally said, Does the Shanghai incident remind you of Yu Taifeng? Yamamoto walked forward silently for a while, and finally sighed, Perhaps, this is the fate of the two of them. When Yu Taifeng passed through the gate and was just about to move on, he was a little surprised to find that the scene in front of him was not at all what it was like in this world. At this time, a gate that was hundreds of meters high stood beside him. On the heavy gate, there are two white skeletons sculpted on the left and right as if they were bowing and saluting. A breath completely different from Soul Society and, Hueco Mundo, appeared beside him. Under his feet, there was a huge abyss without a bottom. Countless white cubes with a radius of about 100 meters are suspended quietly above the abyss. 
Yu Taifeng looked at everything around him with interest, and began to think in his heart. After a while, he had an answer that made himself somewhat unexpected. This is actually the hell in Shinigami's world. Chapter 63 The Power of Hell 1. Subscribe. Yu Taifeng never thought that he would come to hell. It stands to reason that what I have clearly summoned is the door to the world through the world, why has it come to hell now? After thinking for a while, Yu Taifeng didn't think much about it. They come, the security. Now that I am here, I just want to stroll around here first. Anyway, what I don't lack now is time. Just as he was looking at everything around him curiously, a howling gust of wind suddenly came from behind him. After feeling the fierce murderous aura, Yu Taifeng instantly turned into an afterimage and disappeared in place. Boom rumble, a sharp blade of a hundred meters long, with a terrifying power, slashed at the place where he had settled before. I saw a monster that looked like a mountain, slowly walking forward with heavy steps. This monster looked like a deformed skeleton with two rows of extremely thin ribs under the huge skull. The position of the shoulders, covered by khaki skin, extends all the way to the limbs. When Yu Taifeng's figure appeared again, he also knew who had attacked him just now. It is a huge hell guard. Roar. A low roar came from its mouth. Looking at the hell guard who suddenly attacked him, Yu Taifeng glanced at it coldly, then pulled out his Zanpakuto directly, and slashed at the other side fiercely. Boom rumble. Accompanied by a loud noise, the hell guard was also hit by a black sword shadow that was hundreds of meters long. When the hell guard wanted to continue to attack, the whole body was divided by the black sword shadow. As the hell guard disappeared, the long sword in his hand also turned into yellow sand and drifted away in the wind. Ding. The box around the host is detected. Is the host turned on? After the hell guard died, the system prompt sounded. Turn on. Yu Taifeng, who came to hell for the first time, is also very curious about what good things can be obtained from this hell guard. Ding. Congratulations to the host for acquiring Reiatsu 2000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for gaining the power of Hell X-1000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the Hell Guardian Armor Fragment X-1. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Ding. Congratulations to the host for acquiring the torture instrument the Guard's Blade. A series of prompt tones appeared in his mind one after another. When the system's prompt sound disappeared, a faint golden light also quietly submerged into his body. Then Yu Taifeng also checked, the first harvest of coming to Hell. Unlike the items that were dropped in the past, not only Reiatsu, but also other items that have never been seen are among the loot dropped this time. After feeling the strange power that appeared out of thin air in his body, he already thought of the power of hell he had just acquired. As for the role of this force, Yu Taifeng is currently unclear. At this time, he used his mind to take out the piece of armor that had fallen from the hell guard from the system backpack. According to the principle of making white phantom armor in Hueco Mundo, Yu Taifeng mobilized Reiatsu in his body and easily inlaid this piece of armor on his body. Facing such a novel environment, Yu Taifeng strolled along the blue corridor connecting the white buildings, while taking out the guard's blade that he had just picked up to check it out. At this time, the introduction of this weapon also appeared on the virtual screen in front of him. Important torture device guard's blade. Introduction. The instrument of terror that contains the power of hell is a weapon bestowed by the guards by the will of hell. Effect. When you hold the guard's blade and are in hell, you can release ten chains of hell to trap people while causing harm to people. After studying the spoils he had obtained, Yu Taifeng proceeded from the outermost layer of hell to the depths of hell according to the memory in his mind. He jumped directly from the blue promenade and rushed towards the bottom of the abyss of hell. After passing through a sea of blue clouds, Yu Taifeng also came to the second level of hell. I saw an endless ocean beneath his feet, which stretched directly to the horizon as if it had no end. Yu Taifeng looked at the huge lotus flowers floating in the ocean, with a look of doubt on his face. From his entry into the outermost layer of hell to the present, only when I was on the first floor, I saw countless people who were like walking dead. Except for the hell guard who first appeared, he reached the second floor without even seeing a ghost. According to the plot in the hell chapter of Shinigami theatrical version, even if there is no hell guard on each layer, at least there should be a large number of people to blame. Why is the second layer as it appears on the surface, with nothing empty? With this question in mind, Yu Taifeng leapt into the air with his feet and plunged into the ocean below his feet. Ten minutes later, Yu Taifeng finally crossed the bottom of the sea and came to the third floor of hell. At this time, a strange feeling came to him inexplicably. As the third layer of the scorching hell, the sky is blue water, while the ground is covered with terraced fields. These terraces are quite different from ordinary terraces. I saw no vegetation or vegetation in the terraced fields everywhere, but dark red copper water was flowing. Yu Taifeng watched with great interest. This contrasting scene was filled with curiosity for a while. Just as he was standing in the air, enjoying this rare magical sight. Countless groans, like the whispers of evil spirits, rang out from the copper water of the terraces. Yu Taifeng looked around and saw countless dark red figures, struggling and roaring in the copper water of the terraces. At this time, he thought of a very important thing. After entering hell, no matter who it is, as long as he is here, death, he will be forcibly embedded in chains by the will of hell, of the king's money. After the hell chains are completely integrated with the body, they are truly immortal. However, this is not a good thing at all for the blamers and intruders in hell. 
Because, every day, there will be different hell guards, pulling the other end of the chain, and using various terrible punishments to torture the owner of the chain in every possible way. With the passage of time, a person with weak willpower will become a walking corpse with no emotions, no thinking, no self, and eventually sink into this hell. And in the hell of the Shinigami world, there are not only humans who committed great evils in their lifetimes. Even the imaginary in, Hueco Mundo, or even the Shinigami in Soul Society. After committing a great evil and dying, they will be led into hell by the will of hell and suffer the torture of the hell guards day after day. While Yu Taifeng was still thinking in his heart, an angry roar came from behind him. Chapter 64 Old Friends Meet 2. Subscribe. Yu Taifeng turned and looked around with the roars, and saw hundreds of Manos Grande with different looks, rushing towards him. When he saw this scene, he chuckled and shook his head. Without hesitation, he pulled out his Zanpakuto, and instantly turned into an afterimage and disappeared in place. Accompanied by wailing sounds, these hundreds of Manos Grande turned into flying ash and disappeared in front of Yu Taifeng's eyes. However, the battle just ended did not bring any substantial gains to Yu Taifeng. After inquiring about the system, Yu Taifeng confirmed his thoughts. As long as you are deep in hell, no matter whether it is blamed or imaginary, you will not drop boxes or other loot. The reason is very simple, because they are all, immortal. Yu Taifeng didn't care about this, after all, he was in hell now. Although, those imaginary will not be protected by the meaning of hell. However, this does not mean that anyone can change the rules here. Regardless of whether they are blaming people or imaginary, when they enter hell, they will inevitably be punished and tortured endlessly. The word, birth is better than death, is used in this place, it is simply not too appropriate. After a battle without suspense, Yu Taifeng began to march to the next level of the scorching hell. Along the way, despite several battles, Yu Taifeng still looked relaxed and came to his destination. After entering the great scorching hell, there are countless hot miasma oncoming. A strong smell of sulfur filled this space. On the dark 680 red sky, there was actually a river-like copper water flowing, as if wine would fall on the ground at any time. The endless black earth seemed to have no boundaries at all. Far away from Yu Taifeng, black volcanoes are rumbling, and it feels like they will erupt at any time. At this moment, the sound of shaking footsteps came from a distance. There are dozens of hell guards with a larger body. A little different from the first layer is that the oncoming hell guards have blue skins. Judging from their posture, they must also be unkind. This time, Yu Taifeng would not let them go anymore and attack him first. He pulled out his Zanpakuto and said softly, swallow it. Gourmet meal. After Zanpakuto, Shikai, in his hand, countless red spirits and golden Reyatsu rushed towards Yu Taifeng's position. At this moment, Zanpakuto in Yu Taifeng's hands has undergone tremendous changes. As the red spirit child and the golden Reyatsu were absorbed to the limit, Zanpakuto at this time was actually wrapped in red and golden light, which was indescribably weird. At this time, the dozens of seemingly clumsy hell guards had also arrived not far in front of Yu Taifeng. They waved their hands one after another and grabbed the place where Yu Taifeng was. Cut. With Yu Taifeng's soft drink, the hell guards who attacked him not far away were all cut off by the AHBG, Black Sword Shadow. However, this time, the vitality of these hell guards seemed extremely tenacious. Smooth wounds appeared on every hell guard's body. Scarlet blood flowed from the wounds on their bodies, and in a blink of an eye they stained the nearby area red. Roar. Although these dozens of hell guards had been seriously injured, they were also completely angered by the intruder in front of them. Yu Taifeng looked calm, looking at the hell guards in front of him, turning into an afterimage, appearing directly in the air. Standing in the air, he clasped Zanpakuto tightly with both hands, and slashed a dozen times with a sword in a flash. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Boom. Boom rumble. The black earth began to tremble at this moment, and the hell guards who were still roaring at the sky just now shattered into pieces of blue meat and broken bones, and soon turned into flying ash and drifted away in the wind. Yu Taifeng looked at dozens of boxes on the ground, with a faint smile on his face. Ding. The box around the host is detected. Is the host turned on? The system prompt sounded in Yu Taifeng's mind. Turn it on. Yu Taifeng said softly. Ding. Congratulations to the host for acquiring Reyatsu 8900. Ding. Congratulations to the host for gaining the power of Hell X 30,000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the Hell Guardian Armor Fragment X 32. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the instant Hell through the gate. When the series of warning sounds ended, Yu Taifeng also gained a lot from the battle just now. At this time, a pair of heart guards looked like golden armor, clinging to his hun's mouth and gleaming with a faint golden light. This is the armor he just made using the armor fragments he collected. After feeling the power of hell in his body, Yu Taifeng's fingers rose slightly. In the battle just now, while Yu Taifeng used Reyatsu, he also poured the power of hell into Zanpakuto. He can obviously feel that his strength has improved by at least 10%. Although, he still has no time to study, what is the magical effect of the power of hell in the body. But he believes that this force can definitely bring more surprises to himself. Just as he was about to find more hell guards and hunt them, a burst of wild laughter from a distance caught his attention. When the familiar Reyatsu approached here at an extremely fast speed. Yu Taifeng finally saw clearly who came. I saw a middle-aged man wearing a gorgeous robe and a crown, smiling and appearing not far from him. 
Long time no see. Yu Taifeng looked at each other calmly and said softly. After Baragan heard a short greeting, the smile on his face gradually disappeared. He tightly looked at the familiar figure in front of him, as if he was about to strip him alive. It's been a long time since I saw you. It seems that you accidentally went to the wrong place and came here. Since it's here, don't leave. I want you to know. How much have I suffered in this ghost place for so many years? Baragan shouted at Yu Taifeng excitedly. And then, Yu Taifeng still had a faint smile on his face, and he couldn't see the slightest tension. Percent 3D. Then, then I want you to be in this place, you can't survive, you can't die. I want you to regret what you have done. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been trapped in this place for so many years. After Baragan finished speaking in a vicious tone, it turned into an afterimage and swiftly struck in the direction of Yu Taifeng. A majestic Rayatsu burst out of Baragan's body, and a huge ball of light condensed in an instant. After feeling the improvement of the opponent's strength, Yu Taifeng frowned slightly. Holding the guard's sword just obtained in his left hand, and holding his Zanpakuto tightly in his right hand, he disappeared into the spot in an instant. Boom rumble. A group of black thunderclouds began to brew in the sky, and countless magma spewed out from the black crater in the distance because of the power of the thundercloud. The dark red copper water in the sky began to boil at this moment. At this moment, the third layer of the great scorching hell is like an abandoned land, as if it is experiencing an extinction of the gods. Cut. With a roar from Yu Taifeng, hundreds of huge sword shadows rushed down from the thundercloud and directly descended where Baragan was standing. Boom rumble. After hundreds of years of repeated death and resurrection, Baragan has already raised his strength to the limit. In his opinion, his own trick, Sero, can't penetrate the gate of hell. However, it can definitely be called ruining the world. However, when he just threw Sero out, he realized that he was simply wrong. He looked at the mighty thundercloud above his head, and the natural phenomenon caused by resonance in the entire scorching hot hell, and a strong sense of powerlessness emerged in his heart. Hundreds of black sword shadows were wrapped with golden and red sword energy, and they bombarded Baragan's body in a flash. He didn't even have time to shout out a scream, and disappeared into flying ash. It seems that we are going to experience another painful cycle of death and resurrection. Yu Taifeng stood on the sky, quietly looking at the hundreds of large pits under his feet, and prepared to turn around and leave with a cold snort. At this moment, a big hand exuding dazzling golden light fell quickly at an indescribable speed, and slapped Yu Taifeng fiercely. Chapter 65 Warning 3. Subscription Required After beheading Baragan, Yu Taifeng just prepared to use the gate to leave hell. At this moment, a big golden hand suddenly appeared, as if patted him with the power of 10,000 fishing. When he felt the sudden danger, he turned into an afterimage and disappeared in place. When he appeared again, he was already in midair. Standing in the air, Yu Taifeng frowned slightly, looking at the behemoth that suddenly attacked him. I saw a giant skeleton with a faint golden light all over, emitting light gray miasma, gradually appearing in front of his eyes. This golden skeleton is nearly a thousand meters tall. Although it looks like a skeleton, it feels heavy and solid. On its huge head, two groups of blue flames are burning in the eye sockets. The golden skull holds a long sword very similar to the guard's blade in his hand, and the end of the handle has a pattern similar to the relief pattern. Hundreds of black chains were hung on the guard where the blade and the handle intersected. At the end of the chain, there were hundreds of blamers who were screaming in pain. Yu Taifeng looked at the golden skeleton in front of him, and directly opened the exploration loop to check it. What surprised him was that the Reiatsu value of this skeleton was as high as more than 200,000. Compared with Yamamoto, which is full of firepower, there is not much concession. Roar. A heavy roar came from the golden skeleton's mouth. Although Yu Taifeng didn't care, he was very curious. What was the origin of the guy who attacked him suddenly in front of him? But thinking about it, he would not foolishly be treated as a living target by the other party. Swallow it. Gourmet. Following Yu Taifeng's roar, his whole person and Zanpakuto in his hands, like two bottomless black holes, began to frantically devour the surrounding Reiatsu and Linksi. The IQ of the golden skull is obviously much higher than those of ordinary hell guards. After seeing the intruder launching an attack, it also waved the long sword in its hand and slashed towards Yu Taifeng's position. Countless golden powers of hell and red spirits radiated from the golden skeletons, and began to converge in the direction where Yu Taifeng was standing like a gurgling stream. The black thunderclouds began to quickly condense on the head of the golden skull, and the thunder and lightning exuded bursts of terrifying power. Roar. The golden skull roared again, and the hundreds of black chains on the long sword in his hand suddenly became longer, and it swiftly attacked Yu Taifeng at an unimaginable speed. At this moment, the volcano of the Great Scorching Hell began to erupt again. Countless monsters wrapped in dark red copper water slowly crawled out of the crater. In the blood-colored clouds above the sky, the sounds of ghosts and wolves resounded. Countless skinny arms stretched out from the inside, as if they were about to grab something. The black earth began to tremble violently, as if experiencing a violent earthquake. Red magma spewed from the cracks on the ground, increasing the temperature of this space several times. The light gray miasma began to permeate the entire space, as if covering the scorching hell with a gray weird veil. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Yu Taifeng looked at the changes in the surrounding environment, and the huge long sword that struck him. At this moment, it was as if he was facing an enemy. When the thundercloud on the golden skull's head was completely formed, hundreds of black blade shadows, like black lightning, slammed on it. 
Yu Taifeng gripped Zanpakuto with his right hand, and quickly swung his sword in the direction of the enemy. I saw a black sword shadow nearly a thousand meters long, entwined with golden and red light, and slashed impartially on the head of the golden skull. Boom rumble. An earth-shattering explosion resounded throughout the scorching hell, and even the space here seemed to become unstable. In the shadow of this mighty black sword, the golden skeleton was instantly chopped into countless broken bones after resisting for a few seconds. Roar. The wailing of anger, as the golden skeleton shattered, also came to an end in summer. Only one echo is left, echoing in this area. Although the golden skull had disappeared, the long sword it had just swung seemed to be controlled by someone, still carrying a powerful force of thunder, and slashed at Yu Taifeng. Boom. Accompanied by a violent collision, Yu Taifeng was also knocked out by this powerful long sword. After flying upside down for hundreds of meters, he barely stabilized his figure and stopped in midair. At this moment, the weird long sword stood upright in the air. Numerous black chains spread out from the end of the sword handle, seeming to become a spider web of intertwined chains. Countless people and imaginary people, as if being controlled by some inexplicable suction, wailed and flew towards the chain spider web. Zero. Look for flowers. Baragan looked painful, and slowly crawled out of the river where the copper water gathered. After experiencing another resurrection, he is cursing Yu Taifeng cursing at this moment. Just as he was about to regain his strength and get back from the opponent. I only feel myself, controlled by an amazing attraction. Baragan, who had originally cursed, seemed to see some great horror at this time, and the expression on his face changed from resentment to fear in an instant. No, do not want. In a painful wailing, Baragan was struggling desperately like a bug on a spider web. Ding. The box around the host is detected. Is the host turned on? The system prompt sounded in Yu Taifeng's mind. He looked at the weird longsword a hundred meters away, and the black chain net on the long handle that was ten thousand meters above, shook his head slightly, and said, turn on. Ding. Congratulations to the host for acquiring Reiatsu 15,000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for gaining the power of Hell X 5,000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the fragment of Hell's will. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Hell Soul fragment. A majestic force of Reiatsu and Hell, after the prompt sound ended, it merged into Yu Taifeng's body. At this moment, he only felt that his strength had improved a lot. At this moment, an inexplicable spatial fluctuation covered the entire scorching hell. This layer of space, which seemed to have experienced the end of the day, slowly quieted down. Leave. Percent 3D. Percent 3D. Leave. Open. Leave. Although there was no sound, there was an inexplicable voice that began to echo in Yu Taifeng's ears. The owner of this voice did not show up, but Yu Taifeng seemed to have been forcibly instilled in his memory. The master of the voice is the illusory will of hell, and the long sword and chain are the last warning of the will of hell. Yu Taifeng looked at the weird long sword in the distance, and then at the countless wailing people and virtual people on the chain net, and gently shook his head. After chanting for a while, a black boundary gate also appeared. Yu Taifeng looked at the long sword meaningfully, stepped decisively into the piercing gate, and then disappeared. Chapter 66 Curtain Wool 4. Seeking Subscription. When Yu Taifeng walked through the gate, after a period of brilliance, a few gentle doors appeared. He gently raised his hands and swiped outwards, and the door opened instantly towards the left and right sides. A dazzling white light came from it, shining on Yu Taifeng's face. He walked forward without hesitation, and his figure disappeared directly into the white light. Yu Taifeng looked at the passage through the boundary gate that was different from the last time, and already knew that this time there would be no more mistakes. When he reached the end of the passage in the crossing gate, the white light gradually weakened. A black hell butterfly that appeared not long ago flew towards the white light at the end. In a short while, it turned into countless blue spirits and disappeared. After the local prison butterfly disappeared, another door slowly opened from both sides, revealing the outside scene. It was late at night in the present world, and Yu Taifeng, who was standing in the sky, looked at the stars above his head with a faint, 683, smile. When he first arrived, he wondered if he would go in the wrong place. However, when he felt the familiar Reiatsu, he also knew that he had arrived in Karakura town. Thinking that the students he had taught would be extremely polarized, Yu Taifeng couldn't help but shook his head gently. But now, Yu Taifeng decided to find a place to settle down first. There are still more than a hundred years away from the beginning of the Shinigami plot. Of course, Yu Taifeng has to experience life in this world. After all, many years have passed since the days of fighting and killing. But because he is now a soul body, ordinary people can't see him, so he decided to go to a place first. I saw his figure flashed and disappeared into the night sky in an instant. When Yu Taifeng appeared again, he had already arrived outside a farm on the mountain. Looking at the simple but full of life in front of the farm, Yu Taifeng smiled and stepped in. However, when he had just walked two steps, he heard a few painful roars from a house. Due to the fact that this farm is located on the mountain, there is no one nearby. So this sudden roar really added a strange color to the silent mountain forest. After feeling those familiar Reiatsu gradually disappear, he also came outside the house at this time. Who is it? A tall, burly man pushed open the door and walked out with a nervous expression. When he saw who came, he took two steps back in shock. Yu Taifeng looked at the panicked brawny in front of him, smiled and waved his hand as a greeting, and then whispered, Tessai, long time no see. 
Although Tesai Tsukabishi was a little confused about the situation, he reacted immediately. He walked quickly to Yu Taifeng, bowed and said, Teacher. I was so rude just now. Please forgive me. After looking at the big and thick Tesai in front of him, Yu Taifeng waved his hand gently, walked into the room, and responded, Tesai, come in quickly. Read more at mtlarchive.com. At this moment, the scene in the room is not like this well-organized farmhouse, it seems a bit chaotic. When everyone in the room heard the noise outside, they couldn't help tensing their nerves. When they saw Yu Taifeng stepping in, they couldn't help but stand on the spot. In the chaotic room, there are three simple wooden single chuang. At this moment, there was a figure lying on each chuang, bound by the blue link sea chains. They are Sarugaki Hiori, Yadomaru Lisa and Kuna Mashiro. Although they have fallen into a coma now, there is still a white paste-like substance twisting and rolling in the position of their faces. It seems that the roar just now came from the three of them. Hiroko Shinji, with blonde hair, clenched the handle of his zanpakuto with a nervous expression. When Yu Taifeng appeared, he who was about to draw the sword opened his mouth wide in surprise. The performance of Muguruma Kensai and others is not much better. At this moment, their faces are full of incredible expressions. Under Yurahara Kazuki's elbow, there was something similar to a doll. At this moment, he also looked at the entrance of the room with a dazed expression. Ha ha, long time no see, everyone. Yu Taifeng saw everyone's expressions in his eyes, chuckled lightly, and greeted him. Everyone hurriedly put aside what they were doing, and in no time came to Yu Taifeng not far away. Then they bowed together and said, Teacher, don't be nervous, I just came to Kazuki to do me a favor. You continue. Yu Taifeng looked at Yurahara Kazuki and said with a smile. However, everyone, including Tesai Tsukabishi, is like a kid who has done something wrong. Seeing the performance of everyone in front of him, Yu Taifeng was speechless for a while. Although I have been a teacher to all of them, I am not scared of this, right? At this time, Yurahara Kazuki did not have the usual, carefree and cynical appearance. He hurriedly stepped forward and asked timidly, I don't know what can I do for you. Oh, I need a gangster. Yu Taifeng said, although everyone was still standing in place, they were all nervous. When they heard the brief conversation between the two, they felt relieved. Teacher, wait a minute. I'm going to prepare it for you. Yurahara Kazuki walked cautiously to the door, taking a stern step. Wait, Kazuki, I almost forgot. Bring me a set of black cloak and invisibility cloth. By the way, also prepare for me to turn the god body. Yu Taifeng added with a smile. Yurahara Kazuki hurriedly stopped, and bowed and said, Please rest first, and I will prepare it for you. When everyone saw this scene, they couldn't help but think of their once dim school days. Although they can have today's achievements, they have a close relationship with Yu Taifeng. But this person in front of him is undoubtedly the nightmare of their school days. It's not just because of his unfathomable strength, and his impressive record. The most important thing is that they have consulted Yu Taifeng on various fighting skills when they were students. Take 1.6 Tesai Sukabishi. When he died, he would never forget that he used to ask Kido enthusiastically and was finally ravaged by fancy. Dot 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 dot. What made him most unbelievable was that even if he was tortured every time, he could always improve his strength without knowing it. Over time, in order to make himself stronger, he can only helplessly accept this setting. The expressions on the faces of Muguruma Kensai and others are also different, but they can still clearly feel their tension. When Yu Taifeng thought of what Yurahara Kazuki had prepared for him, he couldn't help feeling very good. After all, it's been a long time since he smashed wool. He looked at the scrupulous people in front of him, waved his hands and said, go ahead, it won't get in the way. While everyone was watching Yu Taifeng with a smile, a few waves of Reiatsu suddenly rushed towards everyone. Chapter 67 Unexpected Coincidence 5. Seeking Subscription Yurahara Kazuki left the room and hurriedly prepared what he needed for Yu Taifeng. Hiroko Shinji and others in the room also looked at their teacher with a smile on their faces. While everyone was still reminiscing about the past, their attention was attracted by the three strands of Reiatsu coming from behind. The chains of Rizi originally bound to the three Kuna Mashiro, along with the huge Reiatsu that erupted from each of them, broke apart one by one. Quick, protect the teacher. Teacher be careful. Hurry up and call Yurahara. Their hollow is serious again. Tesai, fasten them with Kido. Quick, quick, don't let the teacher get hurt. At this moment, Hiroko Shinji and others looked solemn, looking at the three Kuna Mashiro who entered the hollow state again. Those who have experienced hollow know very well in their hearts that as the hollow state gets worse, the whole person will lose their minds. Although, they all know that Yu Taifeng is powerful. But at this moment when the danger came, they all blocked Yu Taifeng in front of him, for fear that he would encounter 07 little danger. Yurahara Kazuki, who had just left, realized that something was wrong after feeling the violent Reiatsu. He hurriedly put down the things he had just prepared for the teacher, and disappeared in the same place in an instant. Yu Taifeng looked at the nervous people in front of him, feeling a burst of relief in his heart. It seems that I did not teach these guys for nothing. However, when he saw the three Kuna Mashiro who had been completely hollow not far away, he was curious. At this moment, Kuna Mashiro's three faces each appeared with a mask that looked like a virtual face. Seeing this scene, Yu Taifeng couldn't help but want to test how strong these three people are after hollow. In this way, it is also easy to study the virtual power hidden in one's body. Iron Sand Wall, 
Monk-shaped tower, scorching iron glow. Zon, but finally silent. Bakudo 75, five-pillar iron pipe. At this time, Tessai Sukabishi, who was standing at the door, had nodded his hands and finished Kido's chanting. When Tessai's voice disappeared, five huge silver-gray iron pillars slammed straight through the roof, trapping the three of Kuna Mashiro who had lost control temporarily. Roar. A burst of roar came from the mouths of the Kuna Mashiro trio. They, who had lost their minds, furiously attacked the iron pillar that trapped them. In an instant, these five huge iron pillars bombarded aside. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Hiroko Shinji and others looked at the completely violent three people, and their faces appeared worried. With the help of Urahara Kazuki, they used the suppression hollow type skeleton. However, the body will occasionally be corroded by the violent hollow power, and finally completely lose reason. Kuna Mashiro from Hollow was the first to rush over. She who is good at white hits is like a human-shaped cannonball at this time, with a majestic power, she quickly attacked in the direction of everyone. When Hiroko Shinji and others were preparing to resist, they unexpectedly felt that the hollow power in their body seemed to be out of control, impacting their five senses. Ah, uh, the paste-like white hollow power overflowed from the eye sockets, nose, and mouth of Hiroko Shinji and others, and after a few seconds, a white mask was formed, enveloping their faces. Oh, teacher, ah, hurry up, I, I feel like I'm out of control. Dot 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 dot. Everyone uttered a painful roar, but they still couldn't stop the change that happened in their body. Seeing this scene before him, Yu Taifung felt helpless. He couldn't think that the students who originally wanted to protect himself, unexpectedly, at this time, hollow happened again. He looked at the people around Reiatsu who had undergone tremendous changes, and shook his head slightly. Roar. After a while, Hiroko Shinji and others were completely controlled by the power of hollow in the body. At this moment, they were like irrational beasts, making a hissing noise, turning and rushing towards Yu Taifung behind them. Heaven's proud sun, a wall made of iron. Dragon walk, lion roar, tiger roar, wolf rush. Cut off the world before it collapses. Bakudo number. 81. Splitting void. Urahara Kazuki, who had just arrived at the scene, did not hesitate after seeing the scene in front of him. He hurriedly nodded his hands and sang Kido, which he used for defense. He didn't want to anger the seemingly kind teacher because of the hollow of Hiroko and others. Tessai, hurry up and trap them with a swastika. Urahara Kazuki exclaimed. Urahara, first find a way to protect the teacher. Tessai Tsukabishi turned to look at Urahara beside him, and said nervously. When the two were talking and communicating, they only felt a majestic Reiatsu rushing into the sky, and even the two of them felt a faint feeling of heart palpitations at this time. Urahara Kazuki and Tessai Tsukabishi unanimously followed Reiatsu's direction and looked anxiously. I saw Yu Taifung who was still standing there just now. I don't know when he had crushed the transparent protective layer formed after Urahara Kazuki released the, splitting void. He seemed to have rushed in, beside Hollow's Hiroko Shinji and others. In an instant, they knocked Hollow's Hiroko and others to the ground, causing them to temporarily lose their ability to move. Urahara Kazuki and Tsukabishi 683 Tessai, who watched the battle, became petrified at this moment. Hiroko and others have experienced the physical strength and strength after Hollow. They remember very clearly how difficult it was for Hiroko who was accidentally Hollow when they first fled to this world. If there was no help from Shihu and Yoruichi, it is estimated that the two of them would have to work hard to subdue Hiroko. However, their teacher, without using Zanpakuto, only used the white hits of close combat, and knocked them all down instantly. While Urahara and the two were still sighing in their hearts, they discovered that Yu Taifung did not know when, and they had jumped from the ground into the air again. When they noticed Yu Taifung above their heads, they watched Hiroko and others who were slowly getting up, while focusing most of their attention on Yu Taifung who was standing in the air. Swallow. Gourmet. A voice that was neither sad nor happy came from Yu Taifung's mouth. At this time, Yu Taifung and Zanpakuto in his hand were like two black holes, madly devouring the surrounding Reiatsu and Linksi. Roar, Hiroko and others, who had regained their mobility, all looked up at Yu Taifung in midair at this moment. They were already controlled by the power of the hollow in their bodies, like beasts that were furious after being injured, turning into eight black shadows and rushing towards Yu Taifung in midair. Chapter 68 The Power of Hollow 1. Subscribe. Yu Taifung looked calmly at Hiroko and others who rushed towards him. After seeing these people who were completely controlled by the power of Hollow, he suddenly had a wonderful idea in his heart. When Hollow's Hiroko and others yelled at him, he also slowly pulled out his Zanpakuto. Swallow. Gourmet. Massive amounts of Reiatsu and Linksi slowly merged into Yu Taifung's body like a stream flowing into the sea. Reiatsu and Linksi in his body were completely saturated after being absorbed. The eight black shadows also surrounded him in an instant. I saw Yu Taifung's right hand flip slightly, the blade that was originally aimed at Hiroko and others was directly replaced with the blade. Boom. With a loud noise, Hiroko Shinji, who came to him first, was swept away by Zanpakuto like a fly. Urahara Kazuki and Tessai Sukabishi looked at the teacher who was one enemy eight in midair, and they began to doubt life involuntarily. One person can fight against Hollow's Hiroko and others, and it still looks calm and gentle. What height has Mr. Tessai reached? Urahara Kazuki looked up at the sky, feeling a deep weakness. Tessai Sukabishi's face turned pale at the moment, silently looking at the people fighting fiercely in the sky. After shooting Hiroko and others flying again with the blade, Yu Taifung looked at the few people who rushed towards him from a distance, with a faint smile on his face. 
I saw him gently lift his left hand and make a grabbing motion. In an instant, 48 pieces of golden light appeared in the sky, flying quickly towards the distance. Before Hiroko Shinji and others approached Yu Taifeng, each of them was locked by six light plates and trapped in midair. After Yu Taifeng looked at the people who were restrained by the six rod light prison, there was a touch of expectation in his eyes. He instantly came to Hiroko, who was closest to him, and pointed Zanpakuto at him. At this time, a horrible suction power passed from Zanpakuto to Yu Taifeng. I saw a sticky white hollow power that was slowly drawn out of Hiroko's body. The blue Rayatsu and the golden power of hell are intertwined with this power of hollow. In a short while, Zanpakuto in Yu Taifeng's hands was absorbed into his body by him. At this time, a strange feeling appeared on Yu Taifeng. Not only has the density of the soul in his body become higher, even his soul is obviously much stronger than before. However, Yu Taifeng knew very well that it was impossible for him to absorb all the power of hollow in Hiroko's body. Because he can obviously feel that most of the power of hollow in Hiroko's body has been assimilated by him himself. I can only absorb one or two percent of it at most. A few minutes later, Yu Taifeng followed the previous procedure and quickly absorbed the hollow power of others. Now he is very curious whether he can use hollow's power. Read more at mtlarchive.com. But for now, Hiroko and others should settle down first. After putting his Zanpakuto into the scabbard, Yu Taifeng looked at the two Urahara on the ground who were still in a daze, and shook his head helplessly. Then he said loudly, Hollow has taken control, let them settle down. At this time, Urahara and Tessai reacted. The, six rod light prison, disappeared after Yu Taifeng absorbed the power of Hollow. Hiroko and others, who had lifted Hollow but were still in a coma, also fell from midair at this time. Tessai Sukabishi hurriedly made seals with both hands, and chanted the chanting mantra in his mouth. In a short while, a giant hanging Chuang made of blue spirits caught the falling Hiroko and others. Teacher, Urahara Kazuki Shunpo came to Yu Taifeng's side, seemingly hesitant to speak. I didn't expect to get something from you, it is really troublesome to encounter such a thing. But you don't have to worry too much, they should not be the same again in the future. Quote. Yu Taifeng looked at Tessai, who was busy alone in the distance, and said with a chuckle. Teacher, then their power. Although Urahara Kazuki is a genius, he has only been in contact with Shinigami Hollow for a short time, and naturally there are many questions in his heart. The righteousness they used should have been modified based on the ordinary restrained righteousness. Yu Taifeng turned to look at Urahara and asked. When Urahara Kazuki heard these words, there was a storm in his heart. He couldn't figure it out, his own unfathomable teacher knew everything. Yu Taifeng looked at Urahara who was still in a daze, patted him on the shoulder and said, those things I asked for before. Urahara glanced awkwardly at Yu Taifeng, his figure turned into an afterimage and disappeared. When he appeared again, he gently placed a big box beside Yu Taifeng. After introducing the contents of the box one by one, Urahara Kazuki bowed and said. I'm going to clean up a room for you now. Yu Taifeng looked at Urahara with an enthusiastic look, and directly used the corpse in the box. As for other things, he just threw it into the system backpack. Then I will bother you for a few days, haha. Yu Taifeng said with a smile. The next morning, Yu Taifeng, who had a rest overnight, woke up Chuang early. When he opened the door of the room, he only saw Hiroko and others standing respectfully on the left and right sides of the door. Seeing the people who dare not come out of the atmosphere, Yu Taifeng was also speechless for a while. Teacher, I'm sorry, after Hollow, we really can't control ourselves, please don't take our attacks against you to heart. Hiroko Shinji hurriedly took a step forward, bowed and said. At this time, others were afraid that their attitude was not sincere enough, so they respectfully apologized to Yu Taifeng. Although he, Wang Chinhao, knows that his teacher will not pursue anything. However, thinking of his terrifying reputation and terrifying teaching methods, everyone dare not have any fortunate feelings. Seeing the embarrassing scene before him, Yu Taifeng smiled and shook his head. He opened his mouth and said, You are a blessing in disguise, please study the strength in your body. After hearing these words, everyone nodded quickly and said they were neighbors. At this time, I saw Yu Taifeng put a black cloak on his body, turning it into an afterimage and disappearing. Dot 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 dot. Teacher, everything you need is here. Dot 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 dot. Time flies like an arrow, years flies like an arrow, and another hundred years have passed in a blink of an eye. In this century, Yu Taifeng has thoroughly studied the power of Shinigami, the power of Hollow, and the power of Hell in his body. On this day, Yu Taifeng, who had nothing to do, came to Urahara not far from the store. At this moment, a violent noise caught his attention. Chapter 69 Mountain Rain is coming too. Subscribe. Soul Society, Jing Lingting, the first team meeting room. The captains and deputy captains of various teams are separated on both sides of Yamamoto's heavy country. Standing next to Yamamoto, Chojiro Sasaki took a short step forward, cleared his throat and said, in recent months, there have been many accidental deaths of Shinigami stationed in the world. According to the inspections conducted by Captain Kuritsuchi Mayuri of the Technology Development Bureau, and the report submitted by the seat officer of Hitsugaya of the Juvenile Division. We learned that there have been several vicious incidents of death after Shinigami was attacked in recent days in the present Narugi city. I don't know if you guys have any thoughts. The people separated on both sides also began to discuss at this moment. Boom. Yamamoto hit the wooden floor with a cane lightly, and said casually, 
you have any ideas, you can talk freely. At this time, a young man with a firm face came out of the team. Behind his white howry, there is a big, ten, which is Shiba Ishin, the current captain of the juvenile team. He glanced at the colleagues around him, then bowed slightly and said, Captain, the subordinates have some opinions on this matter. After a few minutes of elaboration, Shiba Ishin stared at Yamamoto Shijoku, waiting for 683's answer. Oh, Captain Shiba is going to show off again this time. If the enemy is any strange creature, please be sure to help me catch him back. My laboratory hasn't been open for a long time. Kuritsuchi Mayuri, wearing a weird headdress and a black mask, said in a yin and yang tone. After hearing these words, Ishin responded with a cold snort, this time I also want to thank Captain Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Otherwise, we may not have a clue at all. After Yamamoto heard the conversation between the two, he coughed softly and said in a deep voice, since Captain Shiba wants to investigate the world, let's leave as soon as possible. Shiba Ishin smiled when he heard Yamamoto's words, then bowed and said, subordinates must check this out. Please rest assured, the captain. Yamamoto slowly opened his eyes, tapped the wooden floor hard with the cane in his hand, and said in a deep voice, the meeting is over. At this time, a brown-haired man with glasses in the crowd showed a faint smile. Yu Taifeng walked over slowly following the noisy sound. I saw a little red-haired boy slapping another little girl on the head with the newspaper in his hand. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Xiao Yu, you went to the store manager to say bad things about me again. I'm so angry, I'm so angry, don't hide, I want to see how your crying nose looks. Humph, the red-haired boy shouted loudly. The little girl with two braids was wrapping her head with her hands, and whispered with a cry of tears, Jinda, don't fight. Obviously you were punished by the store manager for doing something wrong, but now you still bully me. However, the little girl's words did not stop the little boy, he still kept waving the newspaper in his hand. Yu Taifeng smiled and looked at the two people not far away, and a shunko came to them. When the little boy raised his hand and waved the newspaper again, he could only feel that his arm was tightly grasped. He turned his head and looked behind him, only to see a young man in a black cloak, pinching his arm. How can you bully a girl? Yu Taifeng said softly while looking at the other party with a smile on his face. Jinda looked at the young man standing beside him, trying to make his expression more fierce. He said loudly to Yu Taifeng, Hey, who are you? How dare you be nosy? Believe it or not, I beat you like a light rain. Humph. If you are acquainted, let me go quickly. After seeing this scene, Xiao Yu, who was just bullied, gently pushed Jinda and said, Jinda, the store manager will definitely talk about us when he sees it. Yu Taifeng looked at the two little guys in front of him with a smile, and said, Jinda, look at how sensible Xiao Yu is. Xiao Yu hurriedly bowed AHBG to Yu Taifeng and said, I'm really sorry. I have caused you trouble. Please let go of Jinda. Jinda, who had just broken free, picked up the baseball bat leaning against the corner, and rushed towards Yu Taifeng angrily. At this moment, Yurahara Kazuki, who was wearing a striped and wind suit with a hat, walked out because of the noise outside. He just wanted to ask what was going on, but he saw a familiar figure. When he saw Jinda's actions, he hurriedly used Shunko to block his way. Jinda, who didn't understand the situation at all, said angrily after seeing his store manager's performance, store manager, this person. At this moment, Tessai, wearing a white t-shirt and a blue apron, hurriedly dropped the box in his hand, picked up Jinda and threw him into the shop. Teacher, Jinda is really rude, please punish me, Yurahara Kazuki said in a nervous tone, about to bend into a shrimp. Tessai also came to Yurahara's side at this moment and bowed to Yu Taifeng to apologize. The shop manager, uncle threw me directly in, it hurts. Jinda rubbed the big bag on her head with her hands, and walked out of the shop with a grieved expression. However, when he just walked out of the shop, he was stunned by the reaction of Yurahara and Tessai. Xiao Yu, what happened here? Jinda asked with a dazed expression. I, I don't know either, Xiao Yu responded timidly. At this time, Yu Taifeng also turned his head and looked at Xiao Yu and Jinda. He patted Yurahara Kazuki on the shoulder, smiled and said, it's okay, but I think these two little guys are very interesting. Yurahara and Tessai laughed with embarrassment, not knowing what they should say. Let's go, take a look at the store, it feels like I haven't been here for a long time. Yu Taifeng walked into the store after saying that. Yurahara saw the teachers coming, and hurriedly followed. Uncle, who is that person? How do you feel that you and the store manager are very afraid of him? Jinda asked, sternly. After looking at Jinda and Xiao Yu, Tessai whispered, Jinda, the store manager will definitely clean up you after the teacher leaves. Teacher, what teacher? Jinda asked in a puzzled way. At this moment, Xiao Yu standing beside him seemed to think of something terrible. He hurriedly pulled Jinda with his hand and said, Jinda, have you forgotten the horror story the store manager told us? After Jinda heard Xiao Yu's words, a look of horror appeared on her face. Where did he still look like before, and said with bursts of crying, Xiao Yu. Save me, I feel that the store manager will definitely beat me to death. Soul Society, Serai T, the first team house. Shiba Ishin looked at the report in his hand, standing solemnly in front of the crossing gate, not knowing what he was thinking. Chapter 70 Mistakes 3. Seek Subscription, Karakura Town, Yurahara Store. 
After experiencing a misunderstanding, both Urahara Kazuki and Tesai Tsukabishi followed Yu Taifeng cautiously, for fear of irritating each other because of their improper hospitality. Teacher, what do you think of this hot spring? I'll go get you a bath towel. Urahara Kazuki pointed to a hot spring that covers a large area and said nonchalantly. Tesai on the side also looked at Yu Taifeng with a smile, scratching his head. Huh, this hot spring looks pretty good, but it looks a bit similar to the hot spring at Kwantangui. Yu Taifeng turned to look at the two people, and said with a smile. In this underground space below the Urahara store, there is not only a huge training ground, but also a hot spring made by Urahara Kazuki. Looking at this hot spring, Yu Taifeng couldn't help but remind him of the scene where he used to go to the, Kirin Palace, to soak in the hot spring with Ermei Wang Yu. Urahara smiled awkwardly after hearing this, not knowing what to say. Because Yu Taifeng's words are indeed true, this hot spring is indeed an imitation of the hot spring in the, Kirin Palace. But because of Jinda's recklessness just now, he can only find a way to please his teacher, for fear of making his old man unhappy. Didi di, didi. At this moment, a burst of electronic sound came from the pocket of Yuta understands. Urahara and Tesai both turned their eyes to the place where the electronic sound was coming from, and watched quietly as Yu Taifeng took out a black bump the size of a palm from his trouser pocket. The teacher actually bought a pager. Tesai's face was full of unbelievable expressions, as if he had seen something that surprised him. Shish. Tesai. Be quiet. Isn't it normal that the teacher bought a pager? Urahara Kazuki hurried to Tesai's side and booed, for fear that Yu Taifeng would be unhappy because of Tesai's unintentional words. Yu Taifeng glanced at the pager in his hand, turned his head and looked at the two with a smile and said, Kazuki, do you have a phone here? After Urahara Kazuki heard Yu Taifeng's words, he was slightly stunned, and then nodded quickly and said, Yes, yes. We have a phone here, teacher, please. Under the leadership of the two, Yu Taifeng walked slowly in the direction where they came. Seoul Society, Serai T, the first team house. Shiva Yishin was looking at the report in his hand and couldn't help but fall into contemplation. Just as he was planning the combat mission in his mind, a young woman with long orange hair and a young man with short white hair came quickly towards him. Captain, you can't go alone in this operation. It's too dangerous. The boy with short white hair walked to Yishin's side and said excitedly. The woman with long orange hair smiled bitterly, shook her head helplessly and said, Captain, I really can't stop him. Now that we are here, let us go with us. Ha ha. Shiva Yishin turned his attention from the report in his hand to the two. He pretended to be angry and said, Rangaku. As the deputy captain, not only did you not consider the team affairs of the squad, but you brought him here to mess around. Matsumoto Rangaku looked at the expression on Ishin's face, gave out a silver bell-like laugh, and said, Captain, you are really not suitable for acting, you are obviously not angry. But this mission is indeed too dangerous. If you must go, let Toshiro accompany you. After hearing these words, Toshiro looked at Shiva Ishin longingly, rubbing his fists tightly as if he wanted to say nothing. Ishin looked at his two subordinates, frowned slightly and then smiled and said, Toshiro, you are the most talented person in the entire jingling court. You should help Rangaku take care of the team. In case something happens to me this time, you are the best candidate to inherit the captain of the juvenile team. You all go back, read more at mtlarchive.com. After Hitsugaya Toshiro heard these words, he stepped forward excitedly and wanted to explain something. However, Shiva Ishin turned directly and walked into the gate. Team leader. Toshiro excitedly chased in the direction where Shin was leaving, but was stopped by Shinigami who was guarding through the gate. Hitsugaya seat officer. Please step back. Only Captain Shiva is on the list of people going to the world this time. Please cooperate with our work. The guard who passed through the gate stared at Toshiro who was stopped by him, and said with a serious expression. But, our captain is him, Toshiro said with a worried look. Matsumoto Rangaku hurriedly stepped forward to hold Toshiro, and said, let's go, let's go. Now that the captain is gone, let's go back too. Don't trouble the captain anymore. Quote. Toshiro glanced at the crossing gate close at hand, and finally reluctantly turned around and left the first team house with Matsumoto Rangaku. Karakura Town, Urahara Store. After putting down the receiver of the phone, Yu Taifeng shook his head helplessly and said, It's just such a hot weekend. It seems that today's hot spring can't be soaked. It's a shame. Urahara and Tesai stood beside Yu Taifeng respectfully, both looking at him with doubts. They all don't understand, what can make them feel embarrassed as a teacher who challenges the rules at will. The company asked me to visit a customer in Naraki City, and I was very anxious. It seems that I can only go there first now. As for the hot spring, let's wait until I come next time. Yu Taifeng shrugged helplessly, and said with regret. At this moment, not only Urahara and Tesai, but also Xiao Yu and Jinda, who were silent, were completely sorry. Xiao Yu Xiao Yu, the legendary big devil still works. Jinda leaned into Xiao Yu's ear and whispered. Urahara Kazuki laughed awkwardly, then scratched his head and said, Teacher, I didn't expect you to have a job. Teacher, if you don't mind, I will help you visit customers. Tesai said respectfully. Zero, look for flowers. Yu Taifeng looked at the people with different expressions in front of them, and said helplessly, where will I get the money if I don't work? Besides, it's nice to chat with those clients occasionally. As for Tesai's proposal just now, I think it should be forgotten. Look at your big five and three rough look, paired with your black face, it will definitely scare my customers away. 
Forget it, I'll go first. It's really troublesome, it's just so bad for a happy weekend. After everyone heard Yu Taifeng's words, the embarrassing expression on their faces aggravated. Especially Tessai, he was rejected by Yu Taifeng more than once. Thinking that the teacher disliked himself because of his looks, even Tessai, who had experienced strong winds and waves, couldn't help but shed sad tears. Yurahara Kazuki looked at the back of Yu Taifeng leaving, hurriedly took out an umbrella from the counter and followed. Teacher, it's raining, please take this umbrella, Yurahara Kazuki said. Yu Taifeng looked at the well-behaved Yurahara in front of him, smiled and caught the umbrella he handed over, patted him on the shoulder and said, okay, go back soon. After visiting the customer, Yu Taifeng prepared to return to Karakura town from Naraki city. However, the rain is getting bigger and bigger. Looking at the crowds in the station, Yu Taifeng sighed helplessly and walked out of the station. When he came to a remote alley, he disappeared into an afterimage. At this time, somewhere in the jungle on the outskirts of Naraki city, Shiba Ishin covered his wound with his left hand, looking solemnly at the man in black who had just attacked him. He whispered, who are you? Why did you sneak attack on me? What does the Shinigami who were killed have to do with you? The man in black slowly took off his mask and looked at Shiba Ishin with a smile, as if looking at a perfect guinea pig. Captain Aizen, how could it be you? How is this possible? When Shiba Ishin saw the original face of the attacker, he took a step back in shock and said in an incredible tone. Aizen still looked at each other with a smile, and a long time later he said, Captain Shiba's strength is really unexpected. I didn't expect that nothing could do anything to you. In this case, I really want to see what you look like after Hollow. Shiba Ishin looked at Aizen who was talking in front of him, and a storm surged in his heart. He looked at each other with shocked eyes, and instantly thought of the, Shinigami Hollow, and, defection, cases more than 100 years ago. When Aizen was about to launch a new round of attacks, he only felt a majestic and thin Reiatsu rushing towards him. The original smile on his face had long since disappeared, replaced by a panicked expression. When he just wanted to chant a spell to pass through the gate and leave, he knelt directly on the ground because of this terrifying Reiatsu. Chapter 71 Unexpected, Four Quarters Seeking Subscription The pouring rain in Naruti City did not mean any decrease, which directly led to more people waiting at the station. Looking at the crowded station, Yu Taifung prepared to leave in his own way. He also wanted to rush back to the Urahara store as soon as possible to get a taste of the hot springs there. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Yu Taifung found a remote alley after leaving the station. After throwing Yi Mukuro into the system backpack, he turned into a remnant and disappeared in place. Quickly moving between the high-rise buildings, he noticed the two strands of Reiatsu coming from the outskirts of Naraki City. Yu Taifeng, who has been idle for more than a hundred years, does not want to have anything to do with Soul Society for the time being. However, one of these two Reiatsu shares made him feel particularly familiar. At this moment, he instantly thought of his, 687, study. Aizen Sosuke, reminiscent of Aizen's self-righteous messengers, Yu Taifeng couldn't help but chuckled and shook his head. Standing in the sky, he looked at the jungle in the distance and decided to take a look at this old acquaintance who hadn't seen him for many years. Shiba Ishin looked at Aizen with a solemn expression, thinking about the next battle plan in his heart. The shoe that was called, Shu Bai, by the other party, although its strength was far below him. But he never thought that he would be attacked by Aizen during the battle. Now that he was seriously injured, he had already prepared for the worst. Just as Shiba Ishin was preparing to launch a preemptive attack, he only felt a suffocating majestic Reiatsu rolling in from a distance. He hadn't figured out the situation yet, but he felt that he was about to be unable to support his body because of this Reiatsu. Aizen, who was not far away, changed his face greatly for unknown reasons, and began to chant inexplicable spells. However, just as Aizen acted, she was shocked by this Reiatsu and knelt on the ground. At this moment, a young man with short black hair fell from the sky and looked at Ishin and Aizen with a smile. When Shiba Ishin looked at the strange figure in front of him, there was also a panic in his heart. Because he didn't know what the stranger who suddenly appeared had attempted. But Ishin had a strange feeling, always feeling as if he had seen this person somewhere. At this moment, Aizen, who was kneeling on the ground, looked at Yu Taifeng who had appeared out of thin air with a panicked face, and a stormy wave was set off in his heart. Aizen, long time no see. What a coincidence today, I didn't expect to meet you in Naruki City. Yu Taifeng looked calmly at Aizen who was kneeling on the ground, and his horns showed a deep smile. When Aizen saw Yu Taifeng, he couldn't help but began to curse in his heart. Read more at mtlarchive.com. What are you afraid of? He is thoughtful, but he has a nearly perfect plan. However, he couldn't think that this variable outside of the plan would actually appear here. In fact, he planned the many recent murders of Shinigami in Naruti City. Aizen's experiments with Hollow and Hogyoku have never stopped in these hundred years. Shubai, who fought Shiba Ishin before, is one of his masterpieces. However, because Aizen encountered some problems in his recent experiments, he turned his attention to this world. Finding Hiroko and others as part of his recent plan. However, Aizen never expected that Yu Taifeng Jing, who had disappeared, would unexpectedly appear in front of him. He hurriedly released Reiatsu from his body and stood up while resisting Yu Taifeng Reiatsu's impact. Although Aizen didn't know how strong Yu Taifeng was, he didn't dare to take it lightly. After all, his teacher was the most enchanting genius in Soul Society back then. 
Reminiscent of the scene after Yu Taifeng and Yamamoto fought in the heavy country, Aizen's heart couldn't help but become more nervous. So he decided to start first. Aizen stared at Yu Taifeng solemnly, holding his Zanpakuto with his backhand and pointed the tip of the sword at the ground. At this moment, Yu Taifeng's figure turned into an afterimage and appeared in front of Aizen again. I saw Yu Taifeng gripping Kyoka Suigetsu's blade tightly with his left hand, smiling and looking at Aizen with a bewildered look in front of him. Oh, what a really good Zanpakuto. Yu Taifeng said with a smile looking at Aizen in front of him. At this moment, Shiba Ishin, who was still watching, couldn't help but be surprised when he saw this scene. He had never seen a situation where he took the sword before the battle started. Aizen never imagined that he wanted to launch Kyoka Suigetsu's, Shikai, and then get the other party into the environment, but because of Yu Taifeng's move, it would be directly ruined. The scene that was simulated in his mind will certainly not reappear. Because now, his Kyoka Suigetsu is being held tightly by the opponent and unable to move. Why would he grab the sword as soon as he came up? The true abilities of Kyoka Suigetsu are known to Tusan and Jin besides me. What is this? Is this just a coincidence? Aizen looked at Yu Taifeng in astonishment, and said in his heart. 90 of Hado, Black Coffin. Aizen looked at Yu Taifeng with a smile on his face, and decisively changed his attack method. He decided to use Kido to make up for his current disadvantage. However, the Black Coffin shrouded in weird purple light has not yet formed, and it begins to shatter and dissipate like shattered glass. Shiba Ishin stared at the two people not far away in a daze, and said to himself involuntarily, it turned out to be fight against ghosts. Yu Taifeng looked at Aizen, whose face was uncertain. He shook his head slightly and chuckled, if I remember correctly. When Aizen was a 1.6 student, he often asked me questions about Kido. Over the years, it seems that your level of chanting and discarding has improved a lot. Aizen never thought that Yu Taifeng would see through his own ideas once again. More importantly, when the other party uses, anti-ghost killing, he just grabs a hand in the air with his right hand, and there is no process of, chanting and discarding. At this moment, an inexplicable sense of powerlessness and fear surged into Aizen's heart. Although Yu Taifeng still had a smile on his face, the more he did this, the more it made Aizen feel shocked. Does he have the power to see through people's hearts? Aizen couldn't help but thought in his heart. Just when Yu Taifeng wanted to reminisce with Aizen, a special energy fluctuation came from behind Aizen. Chapter 72 Link Sea Arrows from Afar 1. Subscription. Naruki City, in a manner. A young girl with short orange hair on the sides walked slowly into the hall. At this time, a white-haired man about 40 to 50 years old was looking into the distance with his hands behind his back. Uncle Ishida, what are you looking at? The girl came to the man and said with a smile. The white-haired man turned his head and held his glasses with his hand. He said with a serious expression. Sake, do you feel the three strands of Reyatsu in the distance? Kurosaki Maki said with a smile. Uncle Ishida, of course I feel such a strong Reyatsu, and I also feel different things from those three Reyatsu. Ishida Zongshuan was slightly shocked, and he asked curiously. Sake, come tell me what you sensed. Um, I think about it. Two of the three Reyatsu have the breath of Shinigami, while the other one is a bit confusing. It clearly felt like Shinigami's breath, but there was a feeling of emptiness. In fact, this is not the most important thing. I feel that there is a mysterious power in Reyatsu that I have never seen before. But the Reyatsu who possesses three powers can make me feel palpitations even so far apart. Oh seven. I'm afraid that person's actual strength must be very strong. Kurosaki Masaki said seriously. After hearing the girl's words, Ishida Zongshuan showed a faint smile on his face, nodded and said, I didn't expect Sake you to improve so fast. If Ryxian knows it, I will be jealous again, haha. Kurosaki Masaki gently covered his face, and said shyly, Uncle Ishida made a joke about him again. Long Xion is much better than me. How can I be clever? At this moment, a white-haired teenager with a middle score walked into the living room from outside the door. Father, there is a sense of futility in that direction. I will go over and solve him now, the white-haired boy said excitedly. Ishida Zongxian looked at his excited son, and gently shook his head and said, Longxian, your temper is still so impatient. Can't you feel that there are three more powerful Reyatsu around that virtual? Especially the strongest mysterious Reyatsu, I am afraid that the legendary Star Cross Knights are not so powerful. Quote. Ishida Ryujin snorted disdainfully, and said, it's not a big deal for three Shinigami. When they and Shu lose both, I will kill them along with the Shu. Humph. You are too arrogant. Forget it. Go back to the room first, I have something to discuss with Shinsaki. Ishida Zongxian shook his head helplessly, and ordered. Ryuxian wanted to explain something more, but when he saw his father's stern eyes, he could only walk to the second floor obediently, and did not forget to make a face for Sake before leaving. Ishida Zongxian looked at Shinsaki with pure eyes, sighed softly, and said, Masaki, I won't repeat the history of our Quincy clan. Today I want to talk to you about the marriage of Long Xian. After a few minutes of communication, Ishida Zongxian sighed heavily and looked helplessly at the fading back of Masaki outside the manor. Read more at mtlarchive.com. What a stubborn child, maybe you will agree to this when you grow older, Ishida said with some regret. Then he looked back at the directions of Reyatsu. Dot 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 dot. The heavy rain in Narugi City has been getting heavier, but the three people in the jungle have their own plans. Why hasn't Tusan arrived yet? Aizen asked inwardly. 
He looked at Yu Taifeng in front of him, but he felt anxious. At this moment, a strange spatial fluctuation came from behind Aizen. I saw a black piercing gate instantly appeared behind him. Yu Taifeng looked at what was happening in front of him with interest, smiled and said to Aizen, Save the soldiers. At this moment, two waves of murderous Rayatsu passed through the gate. Shoot it, Shinso. A blade stretched indefinitely at an unimaginable speed, and struck behind Aizen. Yu Taifeng loosened his grip on Kyoka Suigetsu's left hand, and then quickly disappeared where he was. Aizen, who turned his back to the piercing gate, also flashed to the side of the piercing gate. My lord, we are late. Please punish you. Tusan Konami, wearing silver goggles, walked out of the gate first, and said in a low voice with fear on one knee. Aizen looked at Yu Taifeng leaping into the air, gritted his teeth bitterly, and hurriedly walked into the gate. Following the departure of Aizen and others, the empty white that was released by Aizen not long ago also rushed towards Shiva Ishin vigorously. Carefully, with a soft drink, a beautiful shadow stood in front of Ishin. It was Kurosaki Masaki who went out to relax after leaving Ishida's house. When she just wanted to use spiritual power to condense the Link Si bow, she only found a sharp pain in her left arm. Shiva Ishin looked at the girl who came forward in surprise, and hurriedly pulled him behind him. After going through the fight against the Bane and the sneak attack by his colleagues, Ishin's long repressed anger was completely ignited. He glared at Shu Bai, who had changed his body and receded back, waved Zanpakuto and shouted angrily, Crescent Moon Sky Chong. A blue crescent-shaped blade quickly slashed towards the empty white who had just stabilized his figure. Boom rumble, a loud noise, with billowing dust and smoke, appeared in the position of Shu Bai. Shiva Ishin was shocked to find that an attack he had just used his full strength to cut out, unexpectedly changed the trajectory and flew into the sky inexplicably. How come? That's the crescent moon, what is the situation? Shiva Ishin looked at this weird scene that happened before his eyes, and you were stunned for a while. After a few seconds, as the smoke gradually dissipated, Shiva Ishin could see the scene not far away. I saw the black-haired young man who seemed to be familiar with 687 before, standing beside the fallen Shubai and fiddled with his feet casually. When Aizen used the gate of Tusan Konami summoned to leave, the bored Yu Taifeng turned his attention to the empty white body. When he was about to kill Shubai, he only saw the scene of the violent Shubai attacking Ishin. What surprised him was that a young girl who appeared in the distance was inexplicably blocked in front of Ishin, and instead let herself be bitten by Shu Bai. When Shiba Ishin swung his sword out of the crescent moon, Yu Taifeng suddenly came to Shu Bai's side, and beheaded it. He will never let others do it for him. After hitting Ishin's attack with Zanpakuto casually, Yu Taifeng also looked at the two not far away curiously. Shiba Ishin looked at the familiar figure holding the black Zanpakuto in the distance. First of all, I thought of the portrait hanging in the family secret room, and then I thought of some legend circulated in Seraiti when I was a child. At this moment, Shiba Ishin who was supporting Kurosaki Shinsaki with his left hand, tremblingly raised his right hand to cover his gaze, his eyes were full of horror. Yu Taifeng looked at the two not far away, and showed his iconic smile again. Shiba Ishin looked at Yu Taifeng in the distance with horror, and said tremblingly, You, you, you are. However, Shiba Ishin hadn't finished speaking, but only saw two blue spirit arrows in the distance, swiftly attacking him and Yu Taifeng respectively. Chapter 73 Misunderstanding 2. Subscription Required when Shu Bai died, the system prompt also appeared in Yu Taifeng's mind. Ding. The box around the host is detected. Is the host turned on? Yu Taifeng glanced at the box that fell at his feet, and responded to the system. Turn it on. Ding. Congratulations to the host for acquiring Rayatsu 2000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the ringtone. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining steel skin. The system prompt tone disappears gradually after the broadcast is finished. The ring and steel skin obtained from Shu Bai's body really surprised Yu Taifeng. After opening the personal properties panel of the system, he began to check it. The strongest box picking system. Host. Yu Taifeng. Ability. Shinigami. Quincy. Void. Hell. Special skills. Omniscience and omnipotence. Exploration circuit. Sero. Sound turn. Rigid skin. Reyatsu. 296369. Kendo. Ultimate. White hits. Extreme. Shunpo. Extreme. Keto. All proficient. Percent 3D. After putting away the system panel, Yu Taifeng turned his attention to Ishin and Masaki not far away. Having traveled to the Shinigami world for nearly a thousand years, Yu Taifeng never thought of meeting the two in this way. But this is not what he should consider now, after all, Aizen's Hogyoku has not been completed yet, and the parents of the teenager Kurosaki Ichigo met for the first time today. But Shiba Ishin's current reaction really made him feel a little speechless. Seeing him with a panic look on his face, people who don't know really think he is in a devil. Just as Yu Taifeng was about to leave, he felt a faint Reyatsu coming from a distance. When he turned his head and looked in the direction from Reyatsu, he saw only two blue spirit arrows flying towards him. After he flew the Link Sea arrow that flew in front of him casually, he looked at the white-haired boy who came quickly with interest. Ishida Longxian, Yu Taifeng squinted slightly and said softly. Shiba Ishin looked at the Rizi arrow in front of him, and regardless of Saki's dissuasion in his arms, he used his body to carry this inexplicable attack. When Ishida Ryujin learned from his father that Shinsaki was out to relax, he hurriedly chased him out of the house. 
After feeling Maki's Reiatsu moving towards the place where Reiatsu broke out before, Ryushuan rushed over here. Read more at mtlarchive.com. When he saw Shin Sake falling in the arms of others in the distance, he did not hesitate to raise his hand and launch two spirit arrows for fear that the other party would hurt her. Ishida Ryuxian nervously looked at an unidentified stranger not far away, feeling anxious in his heart. The Shinigami who was holding Shinigami was also seriously injured, but the Reiatsu exuding from his body was shocking. The other young man with short black hair seemed unremarkable but gave people an unfathomable feeling. In particular, he casually shot the arrow of his soul, which made Long Xion more certain that the two people in front of him must have some ulterior conspiracy. Shinigami, quickly let go of Misa. I'll be your opponent, Ishida Ryujin shouted. Shiba Ishin realized that this was a misunderstanding, but when he thought of the identity of the one in front of him, he couldn't help but squeeze a sweat for the stranger not far away. Queenskiller, all this is just a misunderstanding. We are not malicious. Is this girl your companion? He was bitten by a dummy just because he was saving me, and the situation now looks a bit bad. Shiba Ishin hurriedly explained aloud in order to prevent Yu Taifung from injuring himself after the rampage. Misunderstanding, Yu Shinigami don't have a good thing. Hurry up and hand over Maki. Otherwise, don't blame me for being polite. Although Ishida Ryuxian felt nervous for a while, thinking that there were still hostages in the opponent's hands, he could only hold them back first. Ah, it hurts. After Kurosaki Masaki uttered a painful yin, a large amount of white hollow power gushed out of his eyes, mouth and nose in an instant. Shiba Ishin couldn't help but feel nervous when looking at Maki. It was the first time he had encountered this kind of infection after being attacked by a falsehood. A violent Reiatsu spouted from Kurosaki Shinsaki and directly knocked Ishin who was holding him into the air. Ryuxian not far away looked at the scene in front of him in a panic, he would never have thought that such a change would happen to Shinsaki's body. This also made him more certain that his judgment was correct. Roar. When Shinsaki's face was completely wrapped in the white mask, there was a roar in her mouth that didn't look like a human being. Shiba Ishin felt ashamed when he looked at Misa who had become a monster to help him. At this time, some legends of Seraiti a hundred years ago were also suddenly thought of in his mind. The soul disappears in Shinigami Hollow. At this moment, an idea that can completely subvert cognition appeared in his mind. Aizen turned out to be behind the scenes. Ishin dodges Hollow's attack with difficulty, while thinking about the solution in his mind. When he saw Yu Taifung smiling not far away, he seemed to have grasped the straw. After avoiding Hollow's another attack, he was ready to ask the opponent for help. However, Shiba Ishin only saw Yu Taifung's figure instantly turned into an afterimage and disappeared. In an instant, he appeared directly behind Ishida Ryuxian. Boom. After a loud noise, Ishida Ryuxian flew out like a rag doll that was shot flying. In the jungle, he broke several big trees with thick trunks one after another. When Ishida Longxian finally fell on the ground, Wang Qian Zhao, he didn't know how many bones he had broken. After spitting out a few bites of blood again, he passed out. Shiba Ishin shuddered involuntarily when he looked at the tragic situation of the dragon string in the distance. Ishin, who was seriously injured, also fell to the ground helplessly because of his injuries. Dot 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 dot. He could only watch Yu Taifung walking towards Maki with a sword. However, what made Ishin even more surprised was that after Yu Taifung used the tip of the sword to aim at Sake, he actually sucked out the power of Hollow in the opponent's body. After a while, the white mask on Masaki's face seemed to melt into a stream of white water, all of which was absorbed into Yu Taifung's body. Shiba Ishin didn't understand the principle, but after seeing Shinsaki who had lifted Hollow and fainted, Shunpo hurried to her side and held him. When Ishin just wanted to ask Yu Taifung, he only saw that the other party had turned into an afterimage and disappeared in place. Chapter 74 Start Planning 3. Seek Subscription. Karakura Town, Karakura First Senior High School. Yu Taifung, who had just finished a class for the students, began to pack up the teaching plan materials he used for the class. Looking at the energetic students in the classroom, he smiled softly and said, it's nice to be young. After finishing the day's work, Yu Taifung walked towards his residence. At this time, a loud noise not far away caught his attention. What do you want, boy? You were the one who kicked the hill down suddenly, right? A young man wearing a white hat and hip-hop yelled at a teenager with orange hair. Oh, the boy looked at the group of people surrounding him, and hummed with disdain in response. After listening to the boy's answer, the white hat youth's face was already full of anger at the moment. When he just waved his fist and was about to give a severe lesson to the orange-haired boy, he was stepped directly on his face by the other party, and then he fell to the ground with his nose. However, the orange-haired boy didn't stop because of this. He still kept stomping on the opponent's head with his feet, and he didn't mean to be merciful at all. The young man who fell to the ground hurriedly asked for mercy, and his companions looked nervously at the orange-haired boy at this time. He. 687 is so unreasonable. The companion of the white hat youth pointed the orange-haired boy with his fingers, and said tremblingly. However, when the orange-haired boy heard the broken thoughts not far away, he pointed his finger at a telegraph pole not far away and shouted loudly, you guys, look there. Everyone looked in the direction of the boy's fingers, and saw a broken glass bottle with flowers lying quietly next to a telephone pole. These gangster-looking youths just remembered that it turned out that they had smashed the glass bottle when they were skateboarding just now. When they just wanted to apologize, they were knocked to the ground by the orange-haired boy in twos or twos. If I meet you again, 
I will let you be confessed with flowers. The orange-haired boy pointed his finger at several people and shouted loudly. After several young people hurriedly apologized, they ran away in a hurry. This way, no one will come near here. The orange-haired boy said to himself while walking to the telephone pole and supporting the broken glass bottle in half. Tomorrow I will bring you new flowers. AHBG, the orange-haired boy said to the empty telephone pole. At this time, a little girl with a double ponytail gradually emerged next to the wire pole. She smiled and said to the orange-haired boy, Thank you for showing up and helping me, so that I can live a quiet life, thank you elder brother. At this moment, Yu Taifeng, carrying a briefcase, smiled and walked in front of the orange-haired boy, and said softly, What a coincidence, Kurosaki classmate. Kurosaki Ichigo looked at the teacher in front of him, snorted softly, then turned and left. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Yu Taifeng looked at Ichigo's fading back, chuckled and shook his head and continued to walk towards his residence. Twenty years have passed in a flash, and Yu Taifeng has become a teacher again after years of tossing and turning. He is now not only teaching at Karakura No. 1 Senior High School, but also the head teacher of Kurosaki Ichigo. Not only that, but Orihime, Ishida Ryu, Sato Yasutora and others are also in this class. After returning to his residence, Yu Taifeng sat on the sofa and began to think. From encountering Shiva Ishin and others to the present, he has been studying how to comprehend, Bankai, in these two decades. During the period, he also went to, Hueco Mundo, and hell several times to conduct research, and finally found out what is the prerequisite for mastering, Bankai. Dot 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 dot. Because his Zanpakuto, Dao Tai, has the ability to absorb the enemy Rayatsu and the surrounding environment, and release the absorbed power again. So he thought of the ability to, Glutton, in the fairy tale. Every time his own Zanpakuto, Shikai, and absorbs Rayatsu and Rayatsu, he will save some of the absorbed Rayatsu in the Zanpakuto space. Although, the retained Rayatsu is insignificant compared to the Rayatsu value of close to 300,000 in his body. However, it has been accumulating slowly. In the end, he found that if he wanted to comprehend, Bankai, he had to make the Rayatsu accumulated in the Zanpakuto space reach a certain level. It has been a thousand years since he came to the world of Shinigami, and his current strength has reached a bottleneck, and it is difficult to make any further progress. At present, the most realistic method is to kill some strong players through the, box-picking system, to obtain the Rayatsu value. Only in this way can we understand, Bankai, as early as possible. Looking at the timeline, Aizen's research on Hogyoku is almost mature. I just need to wait quietly now. Wait until Kurosaki Ichigo has fully stimulated all the potential in his body, and when Aizen successfully researched Hogyoku, that's when he started to close the net. As for the strong like Espada, in his eyes it is nothing more than a pile of boxes. In a good mood, Yu Taifeng ate something casually, then went into the bedroom to rest for a while. In the evening, he decided to go out for a walk when he had nothing to do. As he walked, he came to an izakaya. After entering the izakaya for a swig, Yu Taifeng took a walk in the night with satisfaction. At this time, a black-haired girl in a deadly attire came towards him. Yu Taifeng looked at the girl from far and near, with a look of comprehension on her face. When the girl passed him by, Yu Taifeng couldn't help turning his head to look at the girl. Rukia Kuchiki, who is on a mission, is looking for traces of the imaginary. The Reyatsu, who had been tracking by her, disappeared inexplicably as if being covered up by something. At this time, she noticed the strange look in the eyes of a stranger on the road. Is it an illusion? Why does it feel like he keeps staring at me? It stands to reason that ordinary people like them should not see me. It must be an illusion. But why do you always feel like seeing this person somewhere? Although Rukia was full of doubts, thinking that she still had a task behind her, she shook her head and continued to walk forward. At this time, a strange loud noise caught Rukia's attention. She hurriedly held her hand on the handle of the sword and hurried away in the direction where the loud noise occurred. Chapter 75 Have to Send the Arrow on the String 1. Subscription Required A few days later, Yu Taifeng, who was preparing a lesson plan, received a notice from the school and learned that a new transfer student would come to his class. When he thought of the Rukia he had met previously, he already guessed who the transfer student was. The next day, the teacher from the admissions office took Rukia to Yu Taifeng's office, and after a while, he turned around and left. After graduating from the Spiritual Arts Academy, Rukia never thought that she would become a student again. When he saw Yu Taifeng as his head teacher, he couldn't help but feel a little surprised. Because before he met Kurosaki Ichigo, he had met the teacher in front of him. She still remembers clearly that the teacher in front of her once looked at her eyes. I can't feel the fluctuations in his spiritual power at all. Could it be my illusion? Rukia lowered her head in thought. Rukia classmate, Yu Taifeng looked at the student file in his hand and smiled to Rukia. Rukia, who was still in thought, had only reacted to his gaffe. She hurriedly raised her head and responded with a smile. Yes, teacher, this is Rukia Kuchiki. Nice to meet you. Yu Taifeng smiled and nodded, and said, I happen to be in charge of the first class today. Come with me to meet new classmates in the class. After a while, the two walked into the classroom of class 1 and 3 of senior high school. Yu Taifeng looked at the students in the class and smiled and said, Classmates, today we have a new classmate in our class. Now let's ask her to introduce herself. Welcome everyone. Sitting at the window, Kurosaki Ichigo was bored. 
After seeing Rukia standing on the podium with a smile, he almost fell to the ground. Yu Taifeng saw this scene in his eyes, a strange light flashed in his eyes. In a blink of an eye, another month passed. Yu Taifeng saw the changes in Kurosaki Ichigo, Inoue Orihime, Sato Yasutora and others in his eyes, but he didn't say much. Although Karakura number one senior high school explicitly prohibits students from skipping classes, who hasn't passed their school days, hasn't they? Besides, this is Shinigami's world. On this day, Yu Taifeng, who finished his work early, left the school early. Suddenly, hundreds of Reiatsu stocks of varying strengths suddenly appeared everywhere in Karakura town. After feeling these weak and weak Reiatsu, Yu Taifeng shook his head slightly, and walked towards a pub that he frequented. Soul Society, Seraiti, the 12th squad, in the Technology Development Bureau. Under the light of hundreds of screens, several Shinigami wearing white lab coats are busy dealing with the work at hand. At this time, one of the larger screens actually started to flash red. Didi, didi didi. After a few seconds, a burst of alarm sounds began to be heard from the instrument below. Those Shinigami who were still busy with their heads looking down at the moment also looked up at the instrument and the screen that issued the alarm. When one of Shinigami saw the information displayed on the screen, an unbelievable expression appeared on his face. Hundreds of small white dots appeared on the flashing red screen. As time went by, a red dot slowly appeared on the screen, and it was getting bigger and bigger. As the third seat of the 12th squad, Ajin, the deputy director of the Technology Development Bureau, hurried to the instrument after hearing the sirens. Report. There are a large number of false appearances in Karakura town. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Although these phantoms disappeared very quickly, a Jillian-level Mano's Grande appeared. One of them, Shinigami hurriedly reported. Ajin looked at the screen in front of her, and said with a serious expression, it's really rare that so many virtual things appear at once. According to the speed at which these white spots disappear, someone must have killed them. But what is going wrong behind this? And where did that Jillian come from? After hearing Ajin's words, the Shinigami beside the instrument began to think seriously. After a long time, Ajin opened his mouth and ordered, report this to the chief and the various teams as soon as possible. Yes, deputy director. After everyone answered in unison, they each got busy. Yu Taifeng walked out of the Izakaya contentedly. As he walked to his residence, he felt the hundreds of Reiatsu's movements before. After feeling the slowly disappearing Reiatsu, he smiled and shook his head and said, Today's Karakura town is really lively. When the hundreds of Reiatsu appeared, Yu Taifeng thought of a plot in Shinigami's original work. Ishida Yulong challenged Kurosaki Ichigo. Whoever can kill a hundred empties first is the winner. Judging by the number of those voids and the speed of their disappearance, Yu Taifeng has been certain that the voids that appeared out of nowhere in Karakura town are naturally the masterpieces of Ishida Yulong. If the plot continues to develop, Aizen should also kill room 46 in the next step. He is very curious now, how does Aizen feel when he goes to room 46? While Yu Taifeng was thinking about the problem, he only felt a violent spatial fluctuation coming from above his head. At this moment, a huge crack of a hundred meters long appeared slowly in the midair above his head. A Jillian wearing a white pointed nose mask slowly tore the cracks and stretched out his head. Roar. An angry roar came into Yu Taifeng's ears. He looked up at this Jillian, chuckled and snorted. Roar. With Jillian's roar again, a dazzling red light appeared in its mouth. Zero. Look for flowers. When this Jillian started brewing Saro, Yu Taifeng's complexion couldn't help but turn gloomy. He raised his head again and looked at Jillian above his head, his eyes full of killing intent. In fact, Yu Taifeng didn't bother to take care of these nosy matters in his heart. However, if Jillian is allowed to launch Saro, he is likely to be attacked in the first round. Because this guy happened to be on top of his head. A wave of majestic Reiatsu spewed out from Yu Taifeng, rushing into the sky with bursts of strong murderous intent. When Jillian above his head felt the horror Reiatsu from the ground, she shrank back in fear. However, the sarrow in its mouth is about to be brewed, and it is already an arrow on the string and has to be sent. Um, Yu Taifeng stared at Jillian above his head with indifferent eyes, and let out a cold snort of dissatisfaction. At this moment, the one who killed the entire, Hueco Mundo, alone is back. Jillian, who just wanted to launch Saro, seemed to think of something terrible after seeing the figure on the ground. Although, its body shape is more than a hundred times larger than Yu Taifeng. But at this time, this Jillian seemed to have seen his natural enemy. It hurriedly swallowed Saro, which was ready to go. Boom rumble. In an instant, a violent explosion sounded from Jillian's fingers. Quote. Dot 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 dot. A painful wailing sounded from Jillian's body. But when it saw Yu Taifeng on the ground, it didn't dare to make any more noises, and quickly retreated into the space crack behind it. It disappeared without a trace in an instant. At this moment, somewhere in the park. When Rukia Kuchiki, Kurosaki Ichigo, and Ishida Ryu saw this completely unreasonable scene, they all looked at each other in a daze. Da, did he harm himself? Rukia stammered in an incredible tone. Kurosaki Ichigo, Ishida Yulong, at the entrance of Urahara store, Urahara Kazuki and Tesai Tsukabishi also saw this weird scene. When the two thought of the familiar Reiatsu before, they couldn't help but start to doubt people. Urahara Kazuki looked at Tesai Tsukabishi with a look of embarrassment, and the muscles of her horns trembled slightly. Then he said, Teacher, he, he actually asked Jillian to swallow his sarrow. 
Tessai Tsukabishi's originally dark face gradually turned white. He glanced in the direction where Jillian had disappeared, then turned to look at Urahara Kazuki. Then he said in a deep voice, it doesn't seem to be a big deal to the teacher, right? 